You're just going to have to tell me when it's live, because I have no way of knowing. Just keep refreshing the page. Oh, I think we're live. Hey, guys, we're going to be building some computers today, and we're going to add a little twist to it, because i got to be upfront with you guys. These are put that there. These are basically the same computers that I built last time I told you that I love building computers. The main differences are that we have changed out half of the power supplies, we have changed out the motherboards, and we have switched up the case from the white version to the black version of the, what is it, P600S? Yeah, P600S. Oh yeah. But what we're doing to change it up this time is I'm going to start by building one just vanilla, OK? Got my screwdriver, got my hardware. I'm going to build one of these as fast as I can like last time while you guys brainstorm and try to come up with some challenges for me. Because after I build this machine, I am going to build three more. And Lord help me, I'm going to do it basically however you guys ask, all right? Whew. So why don't we get started? Brought to you by Ridge Wallet. Ridge Wallet wants to redefine the wallet with its compact frame and RFID blocking plates. Check out how they can keep your wallet bulged down and use offer code Linus to save 10% and get free worldwide shipping. I noticed you wisely removed your cards from the wallet, Chase, before you flipped this over to me, but you left your cash. Donald told me you might take it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not going to take your money. All right, there we go. So. Let's talk through exactly what kind of systems we're building today. These are going to be workstations for our new editors, because we had a big problem with the workstations that we built for our editors last time around. I think I did six builds on that stream. There weren't enough of them. If you guys have been on LinusMediaGroup.com lately, you might have noticed that we have been doing a huge wave of hiring. We've hired new writers. We hired a social media coordinator, who some of you know from ROG Rig Reboot 2018, I think it was. Was it 2019? Uh, we hired Madison. Uh, we hired um, quite a few people for our merch business, Creator Warehouse. We, uh, we, we stole. <laughs> we stole some people from Bootlegger, of all places. So that's a Canadian clothing retailer. They had, the, they had the, the wisdom to move their headquarters to Winnipeg, which like, look, I'm a proud Canadian and everything, but not every Canadian city is somewhere that you'd like want to live, if you know what I mean. Uh, so Bootlegger went and relocated to Winnipeg. Just, OK, to be clear, my fellow Canadian Manitobians, I love you. I just, I just don't want to do minus 30, OK? That's just really, really cold. Um, guys, that is a Celsius minus 30. It is flipping cold. Winnipeg is a cold, cold place for, for at least part of the year. Uh, anyway, so we've done a huge wave of hiring. And part of it is that we have hired a handful of video editors. So they are going to need stations. And quite frankly, after the fiasco that was having the editors build their own stations way back in, I think it was 2016, we are never doing that again. And I have resolved to personally build every single video editing workstation in this company. And you know, you might think, gee, Linus, that makes you sound like a bit of a control freak. But the truth of the matter is that I'm a bit of a control freak. It's true. But that's not why I'm building all the computers. It's because, as the title says, I just really love building computers. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk through some of our hardware choices here. All right, guys? So we're going to open up the socket here with the 3, 2, 1 method. Remember, guys, always follow the directions. Uh, we discussed this on the pre-stream. I'm actually going to be reacting to a build from someone who didn't uh, <clears throat> follow all the instructions, XQC, uh, prominent Twitch streamer, apparently attempted to build a computer uh, I believe it was yesterday on stream. Um, I have not actually watched the stream, but apparently it didn't go well. I'm going to show him and the rest of you how to build a computer right now. And then after this, I'm going to sit down and watch it. We're going to do a little reaction video. If the video sucks, we're just not going to release it. If it's good, we'll upload it. And I've never really done like a, like a reacting to someone else's thing video before. So maybe I'll be bad at it. So that's why I'm kind of 
That's why I'm kind of hedging my bets here. Um, Nicholas, could I trouble you for one of those handy dandy little torque um, torques? Torques with the torque for the CPU socket thing going on. All right, so for our motherboard, we've gone pretty much top of the, where the hell did the box go? Yep, we've gone top of the line. This is the ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha. So if we wanted to overclock these machines, uh, we would absolutely be able to do it. With that said, we're not going to have enough cooling to overclock these machines. I made a significant mistake last time around when I built the first one of these. I built it with an NHU12S, so that's a 120 millimeter fan uh, single tower cooler from Noctua. Not that it's not a good cooler, it's just that the... Uh, <clears throat> 24 core 3960X processors that we put in these stations output a flipping ton of heat. And uh, we ran into thermal throttling problems, so we needed to switch to the 140 millimeter version. By the way, can I just take a moment to shout out Matthias and the logistics team here? These are so cool. These are like custom 3D printed CPU holders that they designed and print so that all of our CPUs are kept super safe and, and drop resistant. You see that? You see that? How we can drop that CPU and I'm going to put it in there. It's totally still going to work. <laughs> I hope it's still going to work. It should still work. Uh, yeah, they, they did an absolutely awesome job. Do we provide these? Have we? Do we have these anywhere? Uh, we have the files. We haven't filled oh. these in already. You know what we should do is uh, once we've got them finalized, we should just throw them up on like Floatplane or something. Just. Or we could even just, I don't know, whatever, who cares? We could just throw them up on Thingiverse. Just, yeah, if anyone wants to use them. We have them for LGA 11 5X. We have them for uh, AM2, AM2+, AM3, AM4. We have them for Threadripper. We have them for basically, yeah, every, every CPU over the last, like, 10 years outside of, like, maybe that really exotic Intel 56 core thing. Um, all right, right. So I said I would show you guys how to build a computer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got ahead of myself. So we're going to put the CPU into the little carrier thing like that, a little something like that. Um, oh, we're, in the o we're on the overhead. Oh, well, that makes sense. Uh, da, da, da. No, no, do, do whatever, do whatever. All right, so we're going to lower that puppy onto there. You can see that kind of locks in place, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot of play. That doesn't seem like it's in right. OK, too much play. This is, this is serious business. This is not play time. This is not, some, this is not some game streamer trying to build a computer here, OK? This is a real technology YouTuber. I'm just bugging. I'm just bugging, by the way. I'm sure you did a great job. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm sure you did an amazing job. Uh, all right, so we're just going to give that a little wiggle, make sure it's in place. Brian, you want to come in a little closer for me here? Uh, okay, I'm just going to... I'm just putting these in a little bit, okay, because what I have right here is just a normal screwdriver. We need one of these. This is a Torx Torque screwdriver, specifically designed for Ryzen Threadripper. On the subject of Ryzen Threadripper, right, so we're going to tighten them one, two, and three. That's the order that we're tightening the screws. They're all clearly labeled. And we're going to use this specifically because you need to tighten them exactly the right amount. So this is kind of like if you want to put wheels on your car, for example. There's a torque wrench that you use to make sure that you don't under torque it or over torque it, both of which are bad things for your wheels staying on your car and would be bad things for having the CPU evenly inserted in the socket. So if you come look at this, <clears throat> what happens is these screws, this one here and these two down here, are applying pressure on this plate, right? Which pushes down around the outside of the integrated heat spreader with these pressure points here, 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 uh, here, 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 and here. OK, so if you were to say, for example, not loosen <clears throat> if you were to say, for example, not tighten number two enough, what that means is the CPU is actually sitting like kind of cockeyed in the socket. Okay, so these pins might not be making proper contact, and these ones might, relatively speaking, be like teeter tottering and over tightened. So, usually, what happens in those cases, and this is particularly common with lar physically large CPUs. Because you need a lot of pressure on these LGAs with these little spring-like pins in them. You actually need a lot of pressure to make sure they're all making contact. What will happen is usually either you'll get a no post situation or more commonly you'll get um, some functionality that doesn't work. So the pins that go into a CPU, I would say, I think it's fair to say the majority of them that aren't power or ground, that's a lot of it, uh, are 
going to be pins that connect to the memory or to PCI Express. In the case of something like the Threadripper, this thing's got, oh, bloody hell, what is it, 112 lanes? Something like that? 128? I don't know if this one has 128. I think that might only be Threadripper Pro. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. 96? I, I don't know. Nicholas is going to look it up because I can't be arsed to remember how many lanes every bloody CPU has. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, the point is it has a lot of PCI Express lanes and it supports quad channel memory. So there's a lot of memory pins in there. So what tends to happen is if you don't put it in properly or if it's sitting off kilter, you'll get maybe like a slot that doesn't work or you'll get a memory slot that doesn't work. And so you'll get like oh no, my RAM is triple channel, but then you'll go and you'll move all the memory around and all the dims work, so it's like a slot that's dead. And you have to take it out, you gotta put it back in. It's extremely tedious, so it's really important with Threadripper to install it as carefully and evenly as possible. Like even AMD's instructions, I don't think are conservative enough. I tend to tighten them, I tend to do three to four rounds of going through and tightening them each a little bit to make sure I'm pushing it down really evenly onto the pins. Now let's talk about memory. How many, how many lanes was it? 88. 88 lanes on a Threadripper. Ah, right. While I'm installing memory, so we're using 3200 megahertz CL16 RAM from G-Skill. This is their Trident Z Neo. It is RGB, but that's not, strictly speaking, necessary for what we're doing. What is necessary for what we're doing is the 128 gigabytes of capacity that we have here. This is what we have found um, with all of our editors, even the extremely memory hungry ones, <coughs> Taryn, <coughs> Taryn, oh, excuse me, sorry, I had a, I had a, a hog, kind of hog editor um, <coughs> thing caught in my throat there. Uh, so even our most memory hungry editors, we found 128 gigs is enough for us, but by going with a four stick kit here, we give ourselves the option to expand to 256 gigs in the future. What we don't give ourselves, unfortunately, is the ability to go to anything beyond 256 gigs because we did our original workstations back before Threadripper Pro existed. Threadripper Pro has support for, if I recall correctly, eight channel memory, more PCI Express lanes, can't remember exactly how many, I'm so sorry, I just, did, whatever. Um, and more importantly than that, Support for, I believe it's up to two terabytes. It's either one terabyte or two terabytes of RAM. So it's a lot closer to the spec of AMD's epic server processors. But it's also kind of like um, six of one, half a dozen of the other. You're definitely giving and taking because Threadripper Pro also lacks the overclocking features of regular Threadripper, although we're not overclocking these, like I said, um, but also doesn't have quite the same performance even out of the box as regular Threadripper. So I don't really have any regrets because to me, those super massive capacity RAM applications that you might actually need two terabytes of RAM for, you would probably also want more than a 24 core processor, which is what we chose for our editing stations based on just kind of bang for the buck. Uh, which, believe it or not, guys, does actually matter a lot for us for a project like this. It's not like we get, we actually did get some of this hardware from the manufacturers. Asus contributed the motherboard, G-Skill contributed the RAM, uh, Fantex did send over cases. Um, this 2080 Super we salvaged from a previous project, Noctua sent coolers. I actually don't know what's up with the power supplies. Pa these got sent. Power supplies have been extremely challenging to get our hands on uh, now that the whole mining craze has kicked back up. But we did have to buy all the CPUs. So 3960Xs were chosen for an excellent balance of high core count, um, good clock speeds, and cost. We were obviously tempted, being the enthusiasts that we are, to go with something more over the top, you know, 32 or even 64 core workstations, but the reality of it is that for our 8K and even our 12K Blackmagic footage, we don't really benefit from more CPU as much as we benefit from more GPU, particularly with that 12K footage. So 24 cores was really great. Gives us lots of PCI Express lanes for the 40, oh, excuse me, 25 gigabit network. Wait, where are all the 25 gig network cards? Oh, we don't have them yet? Oh, are you sure? I thought we have some. I'm fairly sure we have some. You should check, the, uh, check what's gonna be the color office, if you don't mind. 
Uh, so we're going to have an office that's specifically got like um, lights that can be turned off. A lot of our lights are automatic, so you can turn them off. Uh, the walls are dark and non-reflective, so you can do like really color accurate work in there. I think some of the 25 gig network cards are in there. Anyway, the point is it's a really great balance, um, and it's basically the way to go. On the subject of GPU, though, you might have noticed that we're rocking 2080 supers. Um, that's because we can't get our hands on 30 series cards right now, not enough of them to build these stations and still keep our video projects going. I think a lot of people have this perception that, like, oh, influencers are hogging up all the, all the graphics cards and that's why no one else can get their hands on any graphics cards. Uh, the truth of the matter is that we do have more graphics cards than probably most people. Yes, that's, that's, a, that's a fair criticism. But we actually don't have as many as you guys would probably think. For the number of writers that we have, like let's say hypothetically that Jake, Anthony, Alex, uh, and I are all working on something that requires a 30 series graphics card, whether it's for comparative benchmarking, investigating PCI Express Gen 4 versus Gen 3 performance. That was something Anthony needed a handful of current gen cards for recently. Um, even if we have, you know, five or six of these cards, we actually need them for the projects that we're working on in order to do our jobs. So we can't just grab them and throw them in the editing stations. So what we're working on right now is getting our hands on a whole bunch of 3090s. And the reason that we need 3090s specifically is so that we can fire up nice hash on these machines at night and mine on them. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Actually, we probably should. Like, realistically, if we were smart, if we were smart, we'd be doing it. Um, we're not, actually. Uh, what we need 3090s for is the VRAM. So Blackmagic's 12K footage is honestly kind of bugged right now. Um, I don't know how much, if at all, it has improved. But on PC, it's a little bit... Mm, <clears throat> It's a little bit finicky in that it requires a ton of video memory in order to not cause performance problems. So from that point of view, a 3090 is actually a bargain. Because compared to buying a Quadro, <laughs> it's a pretty good price. Not to mention that it is, of course, the top performing GPU in NVIDIA's entire stack. So we're trying to get our hands on some 3090s. And I think I have a lead on some reference 3090s that we're going to buy. They're not Founders Edition, they are reference cards. The problem with the reference cards is they have kind of craptastic cooling on them. Um, in fact, I don't even think I've seen an air-cooled reference card. So what I'm going to be doing as a follow-up to this stream, because I'm a glutton for punishment, is I will be water cooling all of our editing workstations and upgrading them to reference 3090s. That is going to be an absolute marathon of a stream. Uh, I am hoping to work with someone on the water cooling who has really easy to install products, because I am going to have to water cool a lot. You know what would be fun? We should do it as like a head to head. Like, you know how the camp, like in the old Mortal Kombat games, right? Like how the campaign is basically just like a ladder of opponents. And then you just have to like defeat one after the other. We could do like water cooling build offs. And then we could start with like easy opponents. Like, uh, man, who would be easy? Alex is really good with water cooling, but he's, what's the word I would use to describe him? Methodical. He's a methodical worker. So I could take on like Alex first, then like Anthony. Jake's really good. Jake's really good with water cooling. Uh, Nicholas is quite experienced when it comes to water cooling. That could be kind of fun. And that way, I wouldn't have to build them all, too. So that kind of hits multiple birds with a single stone, which I'm always into. Because like, what did birds ever do to help anyone? Screw birds. No, but, but for realsies, I'm all about XQC final boss. Yeah, ooh, I don't know. I haven't watched the video yet. Sorry, I, I did promise you guys that this video was going to be about how to build a computer. So I installed memory in the outermost spaced out slots. That's, uh, that's the way that you want to go, ladies and gentlemen. A little something like that. OK, so every other one, starting with the ones farthest out from the CPU socket. I grabbed this little uh, 
I think it's called dim.2, Asus calls this, uh, this little thing. The reason for that is that there are actually M.2 slots on this motherboard. They're under this shield here, but they are not 110 millimeter. And we are specifically using Optane SSDs in our editing workstations. I'm a big believer in Optane, not because it's got like crazy throughput. Like you wouldn't actually use an Optane SSD, at least not this generation, in say, for example, your PlayStation 5 because the PS5, when they finally unlock SSD expansion, is going to need absolutely massive bandwidth in order to do some of the things that Sony talked about, like streaming game data directly off the SSD into the GPU memory. That's like, like if you could actually pull, pull texture data as you're like looking around in a scene, that's, that's, that's nuts. That's like nuts bandwidth that they're going to need for that. But what Optane is really good at is responsiveness. And one of the things that we've learned over the years is that forget system performance, right? Because this is only a 380 gig drive, right? Like it's not like you're putting our, your video project on this drive and you're editing off of it. It's not about that. We're actually editing off of a network attached storage device using 25 gigabit network cards over a fiber thing. If you've been watching our videos lately, you'll have seen those upgrades. This is about system stability. We've seen it time and time again, especially with very, very well-coded software that is uh, not flaky and unstable at all, like Adobe Premiere. We've seen time and time again that anything that you can do to increase the responsiveness of the system, so that means CPU, that means memory, that means especially storage, can help with system stability and with program stability. So by improving our storage, we've actually found that we get far fewer Adobe Premiere crashes. And this is true of especially wherever the uh, project files are being stored. So when we made the upgrade to uh, Wannick server, so when we uh, rolled out new, new Wannick, we got some really good feedback from uh, one of our editors, Mark, who basically said, like, yeah, there were workflows that in the past were like, you know, OK, start this process and like cross my fingers that the program won't crash and now they just just pound right through and in fairness to old Wannick, it was really designed you know in a simpler time an earlier time when we had far fewer editors hitting it at once but um, new new Wannick is definitely a big big improvement all right so i've got my dim dot 2 here there's my 110 millimeter uh, Optane. What, what is this thing? A 90, 905 something or other? 905. 905p. And we're going to go ahead and pop it in the DIM.2 slot right here. I can show you how this goes in. So they call it DIM.2 because it's kind of shaped like a memory DIM, but it is not a dual inline memory module at all. Although the funny thing, actually, now that I think about it, haha, this is like, this is some, this is some nerd level funny, is that Optane is a lot closer to memory than you know NAND flash is. And there are two, okay, there are two potential slots where you could install them. So it could be dual inline sort of memory, not really a module. You know what? It doesn't matter. The point is uh, there's <laughs> it's closer than if we just put a regular SSD, but no, it's not, it's not quite right. All right. So we everything's a what now? Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas. Um, if anything's done wrong, I'll summon you with my usual, uh, usual cry. Nicholas! Good old Nicholas. He's got my back, you know? That's why. That's why I call Nicholas when I need help, you guys. Okay? Because I know that he will, he will find a way. He will battle through whatever challenges, like not having the tips for the hot air, you know, rework station or whatever it is. He will, he will find a way. Uh, let's go ahead and find a way to get this CPU cooler installed. So I talked already about the NHU14S. Guys, 140 millimeter is a lot bigger than a 120 millimeter tower cooler. So when we were like borderline with our 120 millimeter U12S, switching over to the U14S completely fixed the problem. These things have been absolutely rock solid. If I recall correctly, they're like well under 80 degrees, even under full load now. And while with like a, a consumer gaming machine, like if I was building my own machine and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't overclock my home computer. Um, 
you know, the only, the only reason I water cooled it was just because, like, it had been a while since I hardline water cooled, and I was kind of looking for something to do. Uh, you, I, I'm, that's, that's where I come from, you guys. I'm a hobbyist. I do this stuff because I love it, not because I actually need four more FPS. I'm not a competitive gamer. If you've been watching me stream on Twitch, you'll know this, because all I do is play Anno and ignore my audience. Like, that's me as a gamer. Oh, I play Beat Saber as well. Either way, I don't need four more FPS. It's not a big deal. So if I was building a machine for myself, this is like, this is heavy confession time, Chase. I'm actually, I'm feeling kind of uncomfortable right now. If it thermal throttled, but was stable under like a full synthetic load, I probably wouldn't put in the effort to change out the cooler. <laughs> because I know that my home system is never going to see that kind of load. It's just, just not. Um, these, though, actually do. We really do do real work on these. Um, uh, yes, thank you. Um, so we've got to make sure that they can, that they can hold up to it. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and put on some thermal compound. You can switch to the top down. So we're going to do the classic X marks the spot. I don't want to play competitive games, Chase. I play games to relax and exercise, which, OK, those are two very different things. But that's why I play games. I play Beat Saber to exercise, and I play Anno to like chill and make sure that my artisans have enough beer and my investors have enough cigars, you know, whatever. Um, that, that's what I'm into, dude. I think the only thing with your setup is you need Twitch to support a, a wider monitor aspect ratio. Yeah, I've got, don't worry, I've got a system for Twitch not supporting ultra wide. I just, I put like uh, a creepy eyes picture of my wife down there. Uh, it's all good. She keeps an eye, she keeps an eye on Twitch because they can be a bit of an unruly bunch. All right, let's go ahead and pop this cooler on here. This is one of the things I absolutely love about the Threadripper platform. CPU cooler installation is that simple. You just like throw the thing on there, and then you tighten it into the existing backplate. Actually, AMD, that's just something AMD does a better job of than Intel. Intel on their consumer platform uh, just has those awful holes in the PCB. So you leave it up to the cooler manufacturers to come up with the best way to put something through them. And if there's anything I've learned about cooler manufacturers over the years, it's that we shouldn't trust them to come up with anything. I mean, they've had Noctua's SecuFirm mounting hardware to rip off for 10 years, and they still haven't done it, which means they must legitimately think that their horrible system is actually better, which means that they're bad people. Uh, it's, it's, it's that simple. If you haven't already either been Noctua or ripped off SecuFirm, then you're bad. Or maybe you're just really good, because you wouldn't rip off Noctua like that. You wouldn't do them dirty like that. OK, I, I'll accept that. I'll accept that as an answer. Uh, do you want to come here and have a, have a look at what we're doing? So I'm just tightening up these four screws. These ones, it's a little less important. Y you'll, you'll notice that I did go around twice, tightening them up a little bit first and then cranking them down. But it's less important than it is when you're putting the CPU in the socket um, to put them in like super, super crazy evenly. Because once you have tightened down those torque screws, it, that CPU is like, it's in there with a shocking amount of mounting pressure. So the, the cooler sitting on top of it, that's more about just maintaining really good contact between the bottom of the cooler and the CPU, and that's less about pushing the CPU into the socket. Although there is an exception to that. Intel's LGA3647 platform has coolers that, actually, I, I believe, We've seen ones that have like a retention thing that sits on top of it, but it has definitely has coolers that just are what holds the CPU into the socket. It's really scary. I am not a fan of that at all, especially on something so expensive. Um, okay, so that's on there. We are we're setting up our fan in a rear exhaust configuration. Okay, blowing through here, getting probably a little bit of incidental airflow for our SSD with its. Uh, cooling heat sink on the side of it for our RAM and all that good stuff. So that's it. That's it for the motherboard. We can actually put that aside for now and turn our attention to the case. 
You know, I did say I would build this computer fast, but I um, appear to have lied. I got, I got caught up doing story time with you guys and not building computers. Boxes in here? All right, you bet. But um, see you later. We have two network cards, though. Okay, I'll I'll put them in then. I mean, if we have them, we might as well might as well put them in. Have you signed them out? Okay, just let me know which systems they go in. We got. Okay. Uh, well, I, uh, tell me later. I won't remember. <laughs> that's one of the keys. Is I want to know everything that's going on. But I don't want to know too early in the process because then by the time it matters, I will have forgotten. <laughs> that's my that's my that's my problem. It's one of my problems. I have I have some problems. Okay, so this this is the one for this one. All right, cool. So let's pop off our side panel here. I guess I should probably have a look at some of your suggestions for what the challenges that we're going to do for the other systems are. I'll have a look at float plane chat first since they're the uh, they're the the devotees. Yeah, they're also the most like calm when it comes to chat. Like I can never keep track of what's going on in YouTube chat. Twitch chat is just like no offense, Twitch chat, but you guys are you guys are awful. You guys are awful. I love you, and you're awful. Um, so let's have a look. Jawa Juice says, "Don't even bother checking Twitch." I know, right? I know. There's just no point. They they love to be hated. You know, I'll talk about how Twitch is a bunch of, you know, buttheads because they'll be saying like, oh, oh, there's audio issues with the stream when there's no audio issues or whatever it is. And then they double down. Every time they double down. Twitch is, Twitch is bad people. Challenge. Forward roll with the build. Okay, we are not doing any somersaults on the stream today. There will be no somersaults we, whatsoever. Uh, we have banned Linus from doing somersaults on stream. Uh, until Colonial Wan says, get Madison down here now. Um, oof. Yeah, I don't know. I already did building a computer with Madison. I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty, that's pretty tough. Only left hand, we got only, okay, we got one handed, we got blindfolded. That's not bad. Okay, all right. One handed seems to be getting most of the votes. So let me finish this one. Let me finish this one up. And then, yeah, all right. I think I can do that. I think I can do a one handed PC build, but uh, Chase, you're gonna have to help me out here because I don't want no like, oh, you know, my hand's kind of hovering for balance, okay? I want the hand tied behind my back. I'm going one hand, no cheating. No cheating, this will be, well, look, okay? Everything you know about how I cheat at things, do you think you need a rope to tie it? Probably, yeah. We'll probably need a rope, all right. So between now and when we build the second computer, you're gonna have to obtain me a rope, please. Thanks, Chase. I know you got my back, you got my hand there, you know, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's uh, flip, me, flip me to the top down before you go though. I'm going to go ahead and put the motherboard in the case. Uh, people keep saying turn up the volume, but I think maybe they should turn up their volume because the levels, what do the levels look like? You know what, you guys never seem to be able to turn the volume up. I'm going to come look at the levels. I'm going to look at the levels. No, you're too low. Yeah, you need to turn it up about 10%. All right. There you go, guys. I'm helping you. It should be it should be hovering at the bottom of the yellow zone when I'm at my lowest, and I will tr I will try not to I will try not to like unexpectedly say something really loud and blow out everyone's eardrums. Okay, that is my that is my personal Linus Tech Tips guarantee of stream quality for you guys. All right. So Fantex does a really great job of their cases just as a whole. I believe this one has the little, uh, the little nub in here. Yep. So it's got the nine screws that we need pre-installed. Oh my gosh. That's interesting. Uh, no, no, hold on. Yeah, no, we do not need nine. This motherboard only has eight mounting screws. So we were about to, fortunately it has, uh, I don't know what ASUS calls this anymore. They used to call it tough armor. Um, but it's got a backplate on it that actually prevents you from damaging the board if you install it <coughs> into a spot where there's a standoff and there's, there's no hole in the board. So everything is all good, but it does mean that I need to remove that. So you guys will have to bear with me for a second here. All right, so let's put this here. Let's put this here. 
put this here, put this here. Okay, I'm gonna start uh, getting, there we go. Ugh. So we'll pop that off. Man, some of this stuff is gonna be a little bit challenging. Uh, Don Gritty says, Madison's still on probation, so she's not on stream. Uh, we're doing the probation thing for her a little bit differently than we've done in the past. Like, her entire job is to be a social media representative and coordinator for the company. So it seemed to not really make sense to uh, hire her and then have her not do her job for three months while we evaluate how good she is at her job and then have to make a decision. So the way that I've actually seen a lot of speculation about this in the community, like why we have our probation policy and the reason is nothing to do with any kind of like BC or Canadian law. Um, it is to do with, like keeping them off camera I mean isn't. It's to do with just, if someone's not gonna work out, um, you know, not having the community get attached to them, right? So the, the actual 90 days probation is a BC law. So in the first 90 days, if someone's, if the relationship's not working out, Basically, either the employee or the employer can terminate the relationship with no cause given. Um, you can basically just go like, yep, this did not work out. This was a mistake. Uh, see you later. And there's no grounds for like wrongful dismissal or um, just anything like that. It was, hey, we tried and this didn't work out. So it gives you uh, kind of a, a get to know you per period. Think of it kind of like kind of like dating, you know, before you get married. Because we don't have at-will employment here. So once you make it past your probation, I wouldn't say that, you know, we're stuck with people, but it is much, much more difficult to, um, to part ways, you know? You know what I'm saying? You cat, you're picking up, what I'm, picking up what I'm putting down? So if we had her not actually, you know, fully engaged in her job while she was on probation, it would actually limit our ability to evaluate how good she is at her job. So that's why we made the decision to, very unusually for us, um, just have her jump straight into engaging with the community. Um, part of the reason that I am okay with it too is I have a, a fair degree of confidence that she is going to do a good job. I mean, she was a known entity to us before she started. That's actually one of the really cool things about our OG Rig Reboot is that by the very nature of the competition, we end up with people who are probably going to do a great job of being on camera, um, which makes for really good videos. I, I love our OG Rig Reboot. It's one of my favorite uh, series that we do. Um, so we, we had a really good, we had a really good kind of, we had a really good feeling. Um, we needed to be able to evaluate her performance. So we decided, you know what, screw it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. People are saying 90 day probation is basically a paid internship. Um, mm, I mean, what isn't a paid internship? Like by that logic, you know, any work you do for anyone for money, you could say is basically a paid internship. I, I don't know, like it's, you could think of it kind of like uh, being a contractor for 90 days before you become an employee. So here you don't have access to, um, you do start accruing vacation time and stuff like that, but you don't have access to benefits. Um, if your position is eligible for a company phone plan, you will not have access to that before your probation. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff that we just kind of like, you know, we're not fully committed. You know, we, we don't bother setting up until, uh, until you're done. Um, hmm. Amrish96 asks, internships are paid? Uh, that's actually one of the reasons we don't do internships here at Linus Media Group. Because in BC, um, aside from me just believing that people should be paid for their work, uh, in BC, unpaid internships are not actually legal. So we can't do unpaid internships. So then that raises the question, why would we do an internship? If we really liked the person and we wanted to work with them, why don't we just hire them? And if we don't like them enough to hire them, then why are they ever setting foot through the front door? Um, so that's sort of my take on it. I know that there are situations where an internship is more of like an educational tool. Um, for our part though, we don't really, uh, we don't really see, 
the inner workings of our company as um, foundational to your education as like really anything. As a video editor, as a camera operator, if anything, a lot of the things that we do are very unconventional. So we would rather just uh, bring people in based on their attitude, based on the skills they have, actually hire them, and then show them like kind of how we do things. So that's the reason that we that we just don't do internships. Uh, good question though. Linus Canadian employment tips. Um, blah, blah 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 blah. Here in the UK, we call it working experience. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it varies wildly around the world, like how internships work, how um, paid versus unpaid. Now, oh, to be clear, when it's part of an educational program, I believe internships can be unpaid because my wife actually did, um, it's, I think she did one unpaid, it's called a practicum. So that's where you go out and it's kind of right in the, in the word. You go out and you, you are practicing for what you'll be doing. So she was in a pharmacy program which has a very specific end goal. Whereas I think, you know, for something like uh, if you're in just like a broadcast program, yeah, there's a specific end goal of like being in broadcast media, but you're not really sure like exactly what kind or what that's going to look like. So it's a little less, uh, a little less specific. Whereas in a pharmacy program, you go and you do your internship or your, your practicum in a pharmacy. In a teaching program, you go do your practicum in a school because as a teacher, that's, that's where you're going to be. Uh, do we need any SATA cables or anything like that? Yep. Okay, so we're going to just grab some, some modular cables here. Let me see if there's any other float plane chats. Uh, Linus, who's the youngest person you've ever hired? I think the youngest person we ever hired was Jake. He was still in high school. I believe he was 17. Uh, we might have to have a chat with them about that noise. I don't think that's going to be conducive to maintaining a, a quality stream here. Oh, that might be a problem. That may be on the roof. Uh, <clears throat> uh, whoever's drilling, can you hear me? Shoot. Sorry, guys, I didn't turn it back on. I muted it to yell at people. It's all good. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, all, all good, all good, all good. I thought I flipped the switch back, but I didn't. Okay. I just didn't want to blow out everybody's eardrums while I was, like, hollering at a contractor. <laughs> that would be, that would be tra trace, trace rude. Um, right, I have not been talking to you guys at all. So this is our power supply. This is a Strider Platinum 1,000-watt power supply from Silverstone. Fully modular, which is nice if you are planning to keep a system for a very long time and you might be you know, upgrading to new parts that are going to use different standards or whatever the case may be. Probably that won't happen. It doesn't look like NVIDIA's 12-pin GPU connectors gaining any traction. Uh, wouldn't be the first time NVIDIA tried to introduce some new system that absolutely nobody um, else adopts. Um, but in the event that something comes up, modular power supply does take care of you there. It also just means a little bit less clutter in the builds, which can be nice for when you're working on them, doing maintenance or whatever. I am, I am a little frustrated that we are using different power supplies in two of these builds, but as I said earlier on in the stream, because of the mining craze, I mean, the mining craze is like, man, it's a whole new level of crazy this time around. Like, not only can you not buy a graphics card to save your life, you can't buy a power supply to save your life, but that was all the same as last time. They are even, have you guys seen these pictures? They're even buying up all of the RTX 30 series laptops, okay? They're buying laptops, putting them in like, like tent orientation so they have like better cooling, right? So the bottom has just got open unrestricted access to air. And they are mining on laptops. It's Absolute utter madness. So we couldn't get our hands on the, uh, what are they, Seasonic, uh, yeah, Seasonic Prime 
uh, I think they're platinum. They're either prime titanium or platinum uh, units that we normally use. And I'm not saying this Strider Platinum is a bad unit. Not at all. It's just that when you're deploying a fleet of systems, it's really nice to have all the same parts be interchangeable. So if we had to throw power cables into them, you know, we could have all the modular cables for all these systems just in like one bin on a shelf somewhere. Just helps you stay a little bit more organized. Whereas now it's like, oh, well, a prime system has a Silverstone, and Ed's system has a Seasonic, and Terran's system has a, you know whatever else. So it, it's just a bit of a pain in the butt from like a, a maintenance standpoint. Jake, what can I do for you? I'm not even done one system yet. This is real bad. No, I'll be done today. Oh, uh, what time is it? It's only 1.30. Come on, baby. OK, if I decided to put gas on this fire, you know I could. You know I could. Second challenge is I'm not allowed to talk. That's how I entertain the people, Chase. Yeah, the people, our viewership, our viewership. Look, the people say I'm annoying. They say they hate my voice. You know, they, they, they say, get out of here, boomer. We want more Zoomers. But I tell you right now. If I don't talk for an entire build, our viewership will drop in half. <laughs> Nobody actually wants that. Ooh, that would have been really ugly. Um, <clears throat> all right. Yeah, yeah. Jake's like, yeah, you know what we should do as a challenge? Left hand drive screws. <laughs> No, that is, a, that is an astonishingly bad idea. <laughs> nope. Uh, I missed a couple things. I do need two 8-pin, I believe. Yep, two 8-pin power connectors for the top right of the motherboard. Wow, I actually ran this through to the wrong spot here. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry Steve about Kevin that. I wanted to know if we're watching the Nintendo Direct. If we're watching Nintendo Direct? Yeah. They want to know if I'm watching Nintendo Direct. Yeah, like, if I'm watching it right now? We're going to watch it on stream. Um, no, I wasn't planning to watch Nintendo Direct. I don't know. I, I just, um, hmm, how do I, how do I put this? I can't think of anything that I am enough of, like, a, a rabid fan of that I absolutely must tune in live, and I can't just, like, read the summary in one-tenth the amount of time a couple hours later. Like, there's lots of stuff that I want to get news about, but I just, like, man, I can wait an hour. Um, and I realize I'm saying this to a bunch of people who are so into Linus Tech Tips and me building this computer that they absolutely have to watch it live right now. But I also don't think that you guys really feel that way about it. I think it's just more about, in, you know, interacting with the rest of the community and, like, hanging out. And, I mean... You know, you could make that argument about something like Nintendo Direct, but I would actually make the counter argument that whenever something is that big, the amount of meaningful interaction that is taking place within the community, at least like, at least in the live chat, is very, very small. Now, if you're, are, are you stuck, Brandon? Chase, can you help him? His poor power brick is stuck on that tripod. Um, there, all right, we're good. Now, if you're like you know, a hardcore memer or whatever, and you want to make sure you've got the freshest, most dank memes or whatever, um, then sure, yeah, you better make sure you're watching live. But that's, I don't know, that's not really our jam. Or if it is our jam, then someone else will be watching the stream and they'll be posting it on the official account. I don't really have to do that anymore, which is, which is really nice because I never really found the time <laughs> to do that. <laughs> I don't know. It was just always a lower priority for me than making today's video. Um, you know, going going back, like way back to even when I worked at the computer store, that's always been the way that I've prioritized my time and our company. Is like, you know, yeah, we want to be we want to be memey, we want to be funny, we want to we want to reply to tweets, we want to do all these things. But at the end of the day, nobody is going to care what we think if we're not out there making a great tech video, or at least a pretty good <clears throat> tech video, every day. 
Um, and that's worked out really, really well for us, so that's not something that you're likely to see shift anytime soon. The thing that we're doing, though, in order to fill that gap is we're trying to hire people who can really focus on that and do it properly. So that's where hiring Madison as a social media coordinator comes in. And you're probably going to see some other maybe surprising moves over the next year. Um, like, OK, maybe it won't be a surprise, because I'm going to kind of allude to it now. Don't be surprised if you see us make a play for uh, written content, for example. Because, yeah, it's a, it's a shrinking space, and uh, a lot of written publications are struggling and, and all of that stuff. But in a way, I actually see that as an opportunity for us to go in as um, a group that is well-funded outside of just having to you know, write articles and put banner ads on them and hope that enough people click on them and I can get high enough CPMs from my super obnoxious ads that I can survive. Like, as, as a group that's funded outside of that, um, we might actually have an opportunity to dramatically improve that space. So I'm not promising anything, but it, it is a possibility. Um, McGuy Vox says, I would love something like Ars Technica, but LTT, yeah. Um, I wouldn't. We don't have a clear idea of what that would look like. I can tell you now, we wouldn't try to be someone else but LTT. That's really never been our jam. For better or for worse, we've always reinvented our own wheels. Um, sometimes we've ended up with square wheels, but other times I think it's been what set us apart from what other people are doing because I, I've talked about this a little bit on Short Circuit, how sometimes I will cloister myself and specifically watch and read absolutely nothing about a product that I know that I'm going to do a reaction video to so that my perception doesn't get tainted by other media outlets. And in a way, I actually do that with a lot of aspects of our business. So I'm, I'm, I'm down to, you know, like, uh, read a management strategies book or whatever. It's not that I'm like afraid of learning from other people's experience. Uh, not, at, not at all. That's definitely the best way to learn, having other people make the mistakes for you. Um, in, most, in most areas. But when it comes to social media, I think that you know, if you ask anyone who knows what they're doing in this space, one of the first things they're going to tell you is you got to find your own, you know, your own unique voice. Uh, you got to be yourself, right? And so it's really hard to learn to be yourself by trying to copy what other people are doing. That's just my, my personal philosophy. So um, I try to just kind of figure out our own way of doing things. Um, reset switch. OK, this is definitely going to be the hardest part of the, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I don't know if that view is going to work, guys. Uh, man, there's not enough light to read the thing. Uh, power on top. Power on top. OK, I just got to remember that. Power on top, uh, and then I already know the LEDs are at the edges and the positive ones are to the left. It's just I always have such a hard time remembering whether resets on top or powers on top. You know, that should be, that should be easy to remember. Power is top, power top, right? Power top. I'll just remember power top. Oh. <laughs> uh, Okay, let's put that in there. I, I hate doing these connectors. They are the worst part of building a PC. Sorry, I have been just standing here talking and building the computer without showing you guys what I'm doing at all. This is the least informative PC build stream I think I have ever done. We've got three more coming up, so don't worry. Oh my god. Get on there. Thank you. Okay, it's on. He's on. Let's go ahead and put our network card in. Oh, crap balls. I don't know what we settled on for uh, the slot that we're installing these in. Uh, <clears throat> one moment, please. Oh, sorry. Uh, what slot, uh, hey, Nicole, uh, what slot is your network card installed in? I'm not supposed to go in there because two meters, you know, and I'm not masked. Bottom one? Hey, thanks. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have actually met Nicole. She's one of our relatively new additions. Don't put it in the bottom. Don't put it in the bottom. It makes it a bit hard to... Oh, for crying out loud. You put it in the bottom 
what slot do you want it in then? The one up from the bottom one. The one up from the bottom one. Yeah. All right. All right. Fine. Apparently it makes it hard to get the, uh, the fiber connectors in and out. So that's fair. So we'll go with this one. So this is the double-edged sword of having standardized build-outs, right? If you do it right, hey, they're all right. If you do it wrong, well, they're all wrong. So now we know that. We'll go ahead and get those switched out at some point when people aren't busy using their computers to make videos. Doesn't actually happen that often. Oh, right, I should have probably said, uh, here, come check this thing out. This is actually really cool. So this is a Mellanox Connect X5 25 gigabit network adapter. Uh, we're using the, oh man, which SFP something or other is this? SFP28? SFP25 plus? I think it's S, I want to say SFP28. Probably says on the, says on the thing. I'm sure I'm being corrected over on Twitch chat already. Wait, green PCB, guys, two and a half gigabytes a second, okay? More than that, actually, because by the time you get to numbers that high, it's not just like a round, you can't just round from bits to bytes, okay? 25 gigabit, that's like just shy of three gigabytes a second. Um, connect X5. The receiver's dead, everyone. I'm gonna change the mic real quick. Swap out those batteries. All right, what's up guys? We're back. Uh, I'm on a wireless pack and they, we don't have a, like a wall adapter for the receiver side of it. So if the batteries die, then, then they die. Um, we could use disposable batteries. Um, yeah, they do last quite a bit longer when we do streams like this. But personally, I am quite against disposable batteries, both from a cost and environmental standpoint. If you reuse nickel metal hydride batteries for as long as we do, we've had some that we've been using for like seven or eight years, then it's a, a lot fewer cells that you're throwing in the garbage. All right, let's go ahead and pop this 2080 Super in here. This is just a placeholder card though until we do the RTX 3090 upgrade that we're planning when we add water cooling to these puppies. And that's it. Oh, oh. <clears throat> no, that's not it. Got to do one more thing. Just got to pop open this little PCI Express cable cover here. You want to have a look at that, Brennan? And then I tucked a PCIe um, power cable down here. You need to put this up here. Oh, boy. There it is. Ah. And we're going to go ahead and plug that into the graphics card. So that's two 8 pins. That's exactly what we're going to need for our 3090 reference cards. Again, reference, not founders, which is different this time around. Okay, so six pin. Whoop. Just, just, oh, just get in there. Plus eight pin. Fantastic. Okay. It's, uh, okay. I mean, that's not a bad build for how long did this take me? An hour? Yeah. This took me an hour? Well, I did, a, I did a good job, didn't I? Look, it's pretty. It's pretty, uh, oh, an hour. Dang, I don't, I don't have three more hours. OK, so challenge number two, or challenge number one, is apparently going to be a one-handed build. Not only will I be doing it one-handed, though, Stealth hoodie's coming off. I'm going to be speed building with one hand. Chase, my arm fold, please. 
Hold on one sec. Wait, but that, that is a lot of rope. Yeah, we're, we gotta, we're, gonna cut it. we're not tying up my whole self here, Chase. All right, help, help me out here. So, all right, I need it. I need, so go ahead, you're just gonna tie a loop around my neck and then around my wrist and then tighten it as much as you can. That'll hold it in place, I think. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. You, can, you gotta, see, I go through this with every newcomer here at the company. No, no, no. Okay, I, I just they gotta it. learn to filter. Just because management tells you something doesn't mean you should do it. You gotta think, Chase. Tie it around my neck. You could have killed me. You could have killed me. Just tie it to a belt loop. Gosh. That's exactly what I was. Sure you were. No, you were gonna tie it around my neck. I saw you thinking about it. You were like, "Are you sure?" I'm not gonna get paid. Well, Yvonne does the accounting. I need an adult. This is the problem. You have Zoomers around here. Zoomers up in this place. You know, need, need a real adult, not like a legal adult. Oh, God, that's tight. Yeah, well, you want me to lose? No, well, of course not. I told you. It's, do you want me to use this arm while I'm building the computer or not? Uh, at this point, Okay. Because <laughs> you have to stand here till I'm done. Yeah, yeah well. Right. You could sit. We have those director's chairs. Oh, my God, don't cut me with the knife. Okay. All right. So there you have it, guys. I am now, I am now arm folded. Oh, God, I'm right behind the, the thing. Okay, so there. I can't. I mean, this is really very shoddy oh, work, man. actually, Chase. Unbelievable. I'm not great at time. Look at, ta-da! Hey, the new Houdini right. managed to Houdini. managed to untie the worst knot of all time just by pulling on it a little bit. Okay, what is this knot you're tying? I don't. Even, okay. it's not really. You know what we need? Remember Twitch plays Pokemon? We need like Twitch ties a knot because I'm pretty sure they would tie a better knot than you. I'm sure they would. If they just put in like, you know, over, under, twist, left, right, I, I, what we're doing. this is, that's exactly what I'm saying though. Like that's random. That's not, I, I wasn't giving you instructions. Poor Brandon. Brandon, do you know how to tie a proper knot? I bet you do. Uh, not the one that, not one for your arm. Not, not one for your arm. Oh, all right. Fair enough. All right. Okay. So is this it's just than is now. this just going to immediately come off when I pull on it? Let's see. No. You sure? Because you said the other one wasn't going to come off, and then it did. Okay. All right. Fine. So we're good. Uh, wait, what is going on over here? I, <laughs> you know, I saw that sub to float plane. I was like, I don't think that was there at the beginning, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't say anything. I'm a hundred percent sure that other one wasn't there though. What a nerd. Can you believe that's an actual job? I can't, and I pay for it. I haven't actually paid for it yet. She hasn't been here for a full pay cycle yet, so I haven't paid for it yet. I could still get buyer's remorse. <laughs> yeah, employee buyer's remorse. That's, that's the probation period. That's what we were talking about before, Brandon. That's the whole point. Oh, Lordy, I kind of wish I had put everything on the table before I, uh, table. yeah, before I type. No, no, I can get the computer off the table because I, I am a man, Brandon. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, need that forearm strength. Get that lined up there. Oh, God, this is not easy. Oh, man, I want to just grab my other hand so much and just stabilize this. Uh, oh, crap. Okay, you know, Nicholas! Nicholas! I want Nicholas to come and help me put this one away. But then, I will not cheat. I will not cheat and build the other one with two hands. Okay, Chase, can you help me? Okay, just get, get, get this, get, get, get this thing out of here. Get this thing, get this thing out of here. All right, cool. Let's get this over here. Let's get this over here. I can't tie knot, but get this I might here. be able to put a side panel on it. Get this here. What? What? You know this is a live set, right? What's with all the, look at, look at the ratio of Zoomers, Zoomers to actual adults going on around here. Oh God, sorry, yeah, thanks. I, okay, all right. Got a, got a shockingly high Zoomer to, to millennial ratio here. Uh, this goes in that as well. All right, here it is. The first ever Linus Tech Tips PC build. One hand tied behind my back. First, I'm gonna need some hardware. Okay, hold on, we gotta time this. Chase, Chase, give me, give me a time here. 
Let's do it. Yeah. OK. You starting the timer right now? OK, well, go ahead and start it in a couple minutes after I've, uh, after I've started here, OK? That's good. OK, I got this. There we go. All right, we're going? OK, I want updates. I want updates every, every two minutes how I'm doing. So let's get this, get this thing out of here. Look at that. Oh, See how I open that with one hand like that? Ooh, this is really dangerous because if I screw that up, I'm going to scatter those everywhere. All right, let's get my, oh, stop it. Oh, OK. Got my LTT store mouse pad. I'm surprised Nick hasn't called and like tried to do an LTT store promo yet on the stream. He's usually all over that stuff when sales are a little bit slow. We don't have mouse pads in stock, so oh, that and it's like mid-February. You know how it is. It's not exactly shopping season. OK, there we go. Case. All right, there we go. Let's pull the side panels off. Look at this. Oh, one hand. See that? Ha, huh. like a pro, like a pro champion. Pro champ. It's even better than pog champ. Oh, God, it's stuck. Come on. I'm trying, Brandon. I know. Ah, yes. OK, good. All right, uh, I got system number nine. So we got modular, ooh, OK, modular cables. Throwing things. Throwing things is much more efficient than walking them places. So you want to make sure you're tossing as much as you can when you're trying to build a system with one hand, OK? All right, I'm going to, hmm, uh, this should be fine. Don't worry about it. No, no, it's fine. Should be. You just gotta. Hey. Oh, okay. So I've got these badminton forearms, you see, and so in order to put the box down, I'm gonna have to tilt it quite a bit. Ha! Got it. There's a little trick. Okay. So here's my RAM. Got my GPU. Got my CPU. Oh. Okay. All right. We're at two minutes. We're at two minutes already. Okay. I'm gonna do this in less than half an hour. Jake, you don't think I can do it in less than half an hour? Let me tell you something about how fast I can do it, OK? I got my fitness tracker that shows just how fast I can do it. I posted a tweet last night about some embarrassing activities that we accidentally brought up in a meeting because of my, I was just trying to show off my new like fitness tracker ring. These guys are apparently talking to uh, uh, the business team about being a sponsor. And so they were like, oh, hey, Linus, you should. Oh, hold on. I need to lose my mask right now. They were like, hey, Linus, mm, you should try this thing uh, before we like take them on as a sponsor. I was like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Ah. Anyway, there's a lot of things that can get your heart rate elevated is all I'm trying to say. Uh, let's go ahead and so I'm going to. Oh, I'm getting a little scattered here. Okay. I do have an NVMe SSD, yes. And no RGB. Yeah. Half an hour. Half an hour, no problem. Where the devil is my screwdriver? Where'd I put it? I need the. Uh, wait, why do I have two Threadripper screwdrivers and not an iFixit screwdriver? Brandon, do you see it? Are you. Uh, does anyone see the iFixit screwdriver? I'm losing time here. Darn it, where is it? Uh, um, it, it usually is. I can kind of live without it, but it's a little slow to change the bits on this one without uh, another hand. Where is it? I always do this. OK, fine. Screw it. I'm just going to grab another iFixit kit. There yeah, there's a driver in this one. Oh, it's the plastic driver, though. I don't like this one. OK. Nick's got a message for you. I'm calm. Uh, I don't have time for Nick's message right now. I'm busy building a computer. Um, and I, I can't check it anyway, because I only have one hand. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Going to remove this. Remove the screws. OK. Uh, uh, Man, it makes a big difference not being able to hold something in place while you're screwing it. Uh, or, well, OK, while you're unscrewing it. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, hey, Madison, yeah. 
Did you by any chance notice a screwdriver that I might have left in the packaging for the system? No, I, I just double-checked. You, you double-checked. Okay. Uh, I'm just so confused right now. This is exactly the kind of thing that I do. It's exactly the kind of thing I do. Uh, under the case. No, surprisingly. That was a very good idea, though, Brandon. Um, so let's go ahead and get the SSD installed with one hand. For those who are tuning in now, I am building an editing workstation with one hand tied behind my back to show you guys that if I can do it like this, then surely you can also do it probably with other much more challenging challenges. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Where did I put those mounting screws for the M.2? Oh, there's half of it. Okay, let's. Oh, shoot. Okay, um, let's put that there. Yes, there we go. Um, no, we don't need another iFixit kit. I've got this one. I'll find this. I'll find the screwdriver after the stream. <laughs> it's like, it's like it's just vanished. I don't understand it. We're oh, six minutes. six minutes already. I can't even pick up the screw. And since you're a little preoccupied, if what? Uh, anyone wants, you can go to lttstore.com and use the discount code one hand to get ten percent, uh, ten dollars off a water bottle okay. in the next hour. Ten dollars off a water bottle. Discount code one hand for the next hour, apparently. Thanks, Nick. Oh, wow. This is incredibly frustrating. It just, it's like just weakly magnetic. There we go. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to push that down. Yes. Yes. Got it. Now I'm just going to line this up. I already removed the adhesive backing, or maybe not adhesive backing, whatever, the backing on the thermal pad. Okay, let's go ahead and put that on there. Okay. My left hand is going numb. That's the, you tied it too tight, Chase. You tied it too tight. I'm tied. Look, don't victim blame, Brandon. I did not provoke anything. Oh, sh shoot. Oh, the peel, the peel ripped off. Oh, I ripped again. Why? Why am I cursed this way? Oh, my. OK, Asus, I know you just sent us these boards for these builds, but I'm real angry right now. This is, this is not. Oh, wow. This peel has ripped into five pieces. Eight minutes? What did I say I would do? 40 minutes? I'm pretty sure I said 40. 30 doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound like something I would say. OK, that's fine. I can still do this. So uh, open uh, 3, 2, 1. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to use this for the opening. I'm going to use this for the closing. Uh, with the with the closing and the and the opening, fly in. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should probably uh, I should probably talk about our sponsor for today's video. I, I never actually did that. Um, hey, MSI, thanks for sponsoring today's stream. The MSI Meg Core Liquid 240R has addressable RGB lighting. It's got a 240 millimeter radiator a 270 degree rotating block head so that the logo will be right side up, kind of no matter how you end up having to install it in your system. The pump is integrated into the aluminum radiator for uh, better acoustics and, um, wait, for sound dampening and noise reduction. Those are the same things, um, MSI. But what's also really good about it is it means that you can't run into issues where the pump will run dry, for example, if you have your uh, CPU block and pump like way above your radiator, which is kind of nice. The radiator has a split pathway, um, evaporation proof tubing with three layers of netted plastic, so that's zero maintenance. And what else is there to say about it? Oh yeah, excellent compatibility with both Intel and AMD sockets and motherboards. And uh, you can check it out at the link in the video description. And you can check out me installing this Threadripper with one hand. Bam! Look at that. 
Oh, yeah. Is that in? I can't tell if that's in. I think that's in. Should be in. Uh, OK, that needs to go on there. Huh, hand tightening screws like a boss. I really, really want that other driver back. It's got better grip on it and everything. Ten, ten minutes? Yep. Really, really? So I'm, I'm only a third of the way through my time. You know what? I'm feeling pretty confident right now. What do you think, Brandon? Yeah, you See, Brandon always believes in me. Brandon's always like, you got this, Linus. How often do you actually believe what you're saying? Like 95%. 95%? Wow. See, that's because Brandon has been around the block, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon has seen me through, well, seen us through, really, some, some very challenging situations. <laughs> you know, we're talking, we're talking build videos that went until the wee hours of the morning. The next day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. What's the what? <laughs> Better hurry, old man. Oh. She's having way too much fun. See, that, you should not be allowed to have this much fun at work. So I should get a discount on the paying her. Uh, okay, what is going on? Who is, call who is calling me during street? Oh, hon. Uh, yes, love, you're on speaker, you're on stream. No, I did not buy any more GameStop stock. Um, I don't know who Bridget is. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not surprised. You know you're on stream, right? Okay, I'm just making sure. Um, yeah, sure, food would be great. That would be tremendous. Just get me whatever you're having. OK, thanks. OK, bye. OK, bye. Now, I don't know, man, I don't know whether I should talk about it or not, but basically, as far as I can tell, the bureaucrats in charge of production uh, tax credits um, just have absolutely no idea what they're supposed to be doing. Um, because as like a. As like a, a new media, uh, all Canadian uh, production company, uh, we had a really interesting conversation um, with <clears throat> someone who was actually involved in like writing up the program, and they were like, "Yeah, you guys are like basically exactly the kind of sort of small production companies um, that are like promoting Canadian jobs and blah, 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 that these are designed to support. Uh, but they've created so much uh, red tape and bureaucracy that anyone other than a very, very large production can't take advantage of them. And there's all these like stupid accounting uh, loopholes and stuff that you have to do such that you can only be really big, basically, in order to uh, get access to them. It's, uh, it's, it's just kind of like shockingly stupid. Um, so there's just kind of like these weird loopholes, like you have to have a publisher, um, they won't tell you what the requirements are to, uh, to create or be a publisher, uh, so you'll say, okay, yeah, like here's what we're doing, here's what we have, do we qualify? And they'll say, I don't know, maybe not. And we'll say, okay, well, what can we do to make sure that we qualify? And they'll just go like, sorry, or, or well, mostly they'll just ghost you. Uh, this whole process has been uh, in place for, or has been going on for, I think more than a year at this point. And it's just like, it's kind of ridiculous um, and very, very frustrating. But the good news is that um, we, were, we were built to operate completely on our own. So we don't actually, um, you know, like we're, we're sustainable. People are actually watching. That's another thing that's really frustrating, is looking at what kinds of programming or what kinds of platforms do qualify for tax credits or for being like a distributor and being like, how does that make any sense whatsoever? And if that does make sense, then how do we not make sense? Um, the good news is, unlike some of those things, we actually have viewership. Um, so we are, we are self-sufficient. It just would have been nice if 
the programs that are supposed to exist to help people like us actually helped people like us. So very, very frustrating. I've got people saying Linus tax cheating tips. It's not about cheating. It's about programs that exist to help businesses like ours and getting access to them. Um, because why should we not? Like, honestly. OK, so CPU, CPU cooler, RAM, motherboard, SSD, all of that totally built up. I'm even going to do another ASUS peel, inviting disaster. Uh, we hit 15 minutes, so I'm halfway. Oh, I so got this. OK, uh, let's get this motherboard box out of the way here. Flip this baby around. Oh, yeah. Let's just pop that over there. Oh, more messages below. What's Floatplane saying? What? Some people are talking about some. I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. Oof. Okay. So our oh shoot. So we've got a Seasonic Prime TX 1000. So this is an 80 plus titanium power supply. Really nice unit. This will be powering this machine. And then I. It looks like Nicholas has taken out a seemingly random selection of modular cables for me. I, I don't really know if I understand exactly the rationale behind these ones that he has chosen. So there's a 24 pin. Oh, I should put these connectors on before I put this in the thing, uh, put, before I put it in the case. OK, so there's two 6 plus 2s. I need a SATA. There we go. I think that's all that I need. Boom. And I'm going to, OK. Yes, this will do. So. Power supply end should be clearly labeled. Uh, there we go. Power supply end. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll bring the power supply down. Hold on. I'm going to move my network cart. OK, I said half an hour, and that's what I'm going to deliver to the people. One-handed build, half an hour, better than XQC. I don't actually know that. I don't actually know that. I have not watched it. His build might be really good. That's not what the community sentiment seems to be, but. I have no way of knowing that for sure. 17 minutes? Oh, no. Yeah, not worried. Also, wouldn't be the first time, lol. <laughs> uh, all right. What's that? Oh, uh, oh you're going to want to see this maneuver on the other camera. OK, check this out. So we're going for the. The stuff it, the stuff it and push it technique. Ha! Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, where are my bloody power supply screws? Ah, we recently reorganized this, so I don't even need the power supply screws from the box because I have a whole container of perfectly sorted 632 screws. Oh, yeah. And you might say, Linus, that's a bit of a hack. And I would say, well, my assistant was supposed to prepare the screws for me anyway, so it's not really cheating, right? I think that's pretty fair. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put this through the hole. We're going to lift this up. Oh, look at that maneuver. You see that? That's called the poke and lift. Now that's, a tech tip. that's a tech tip right there, a magnetic tech tip. All right, then we're going to do another poke and lift. Oh, God, I tightened that one too much. So we're going to do a lift, then poke, OK? That's the lift and that's the lift then poke. Okay, I'm gonna grab another one here. And note that I'm gonna do this in half an hour while actually installing all of the screws. No shortcuts. See, I could have just put two screws in this power supply, but I didn't. It's actually kind of amazing how quickly you can build a computer if it's just all like kind of easy to click together parts. Like as soon as you start adding RGB and like water cooling and stuff like that, it really goes from, you know, half an hour to three hours. We are at 19 minutes. 19 minutes. You know what? I think I'm gonna make it. I think I got the. Oh wait, I haven't put the motherboard in yet. Oh, oh crap. Uh oh. No wait, I might not make it. Uh, okay. Hold on. Just wait. There could be time. Okay. I gotta move all these sliders. Push it, push it real good. That is a weird, uncomfortable thing to put um, on there. I thought it was my job to make people uncomfortable. Okay. 
Okay. It's like redefining zoom bombing. Ah! Okay. That's that's in there. Get get out of the way. Okay. Uh, why is this random cable tie on here? Oh, I went, I went to grab my other hand and pull it off. There's a random cable tie on this thing. LTTstore.com. I can't get it off because it's such a high quality cable tie. <laughs> they're fine. They're fine, by the way. I wouldn't say that they're like the world's most amazing cable ties or anything, but they're fine. LTTstore.com. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's my CPU connector one. Here's my. Wow, I really don't think the cable management is going to be quite as good on this second machine here. Here's CPU connector two. Um, I'm going to plug in this SATA power back here right now. Oh man, repositioning this is not that easy. Okay. Can I plug in a SATA connector with one hand? Can the Pope swim in a lake? There you go. Look at that. Okay. And uh, this guy is going to pop through. Oh, no. Oh, I popped the thing off. Uh, hmm. Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that back. I think it goes on there. Yeah, cool. And sorry, how long do I have? I have eight and a half minutes. Mm, are you sure you didn't do the math wrong? Because I heard your generation wasn't very good at math. I mean, it's on the timer. Yeah. OK. All right. Cool. So flip me to the top down. I'm going to show you guys how a one-handed motherboard install goes. We're either going to celebrate my victory together or celebrate my defeat together. Because there's really only two ways this can go. It's going to be great or it's going to be terrible. I did already take out that extra screw, for those of you who are wondering. I popped that out a little bit earlier. OK. Hi, Colton. Hey. What? I love building computers. I love building computers Woo! too, Colton. OK. Oh, no, there's a connector down there. I can't, OK, I got it out. I got it. Uh, hmm. OK, this needs to, oh boy. OK, just got to give it a little wiggle. Just got to give it a wiggle here. Oh, I really, really want my other hand right now. I want it so bad. OK. Mm. Uh, I'm just going to stick this thermal compound thing in here and I'm going to kind of wedge the board up a bit. No, it's not working. Come on, I just need you to... We are at 23 minutes. Chase, you're not helping. Okay. What's the thing? What is... What is in the way? I don't understand it. Oh. What are you stuck on? Do I get any lifelines? No, I don't. I want to do it myself. Okay. It, it keeps shifting to the side. I don't understand it. It's like it goes a little bit too high or a little bit too low. It won't go in the right spot. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, got it. Yes! Where's my screwdriver? Okay. Need some screws. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, man. We are at 24 minutes. 24 minutes? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, did I say I was going to put in all the screws? No, you never Oh, shoot. Okay. In there. Go. Okay. Okay. Next one. Hey, thankfully, at least this screwdriver has a decent magnet on it, which makes uh, a trace big difference. How you guys doing? Lego Creeper, yes I did. Linus motherboard scratching tips. Yes, I sincerely hope that I did not scratch the back of the PCB of this board. 
There is usually a small kind of um, safety zone around the standoff holes because like motherboard manufacturers know that inexperienced and stupid builders might um, be only using one hand and you know screw up the thing while they're trying to put the motherboard in. But you can't really count on that. Okay. Oh man, this was still not quite in the right spot and I definitely had to kind of force scooch it by, oh man, ah, by kind of levering the screw in there and then putting it in. How much time do I have? Oh, uh, we're at 25 minutes. 25 minutes, I've got four and a half minutes. Half minutes. Oh man, I don't know if I can do it guys. Um, okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. These holes aren't quite lined up, though. The tolerances on this case are what I would describe as imperfect. Um, it could be the motherboard as well, but I suspect from my years of building computers that this is more of a, a case tolerance issue. So they're just like some of them are kind of 70% lined up. Um, which is making it a little bit more challenging to get the screws threaded in. Now that I've got a bunch of them in, it is going quite a bit faster, but that has definitely slowed me down. Okay. Um, this is the last one. Just, oh, don't cross thread. Don't cross thread. How dare you? Okay, I got it. I got it. Sometimes if it starts to cross thread a little bit, you can kind of uncross thread it by whipping it real fast the other direction. Okay. Oh, I hate you. I, where is that iFixit driver? Can't find the other one now. Okay, here it is. Oh, I don't have the right bit on it. Okay, I need Phillips bit. Shoot, I don't have time for this. I should just skip the screw, but I can't. I, oh, I just wanted to pull my other hand out. I just keep wanting to, okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just need a little bit more room to maneuver. Okay, yeah, it started. It's not cross-threaded. I can finish it with this one. Okay. All right, motherboard's in. 24-pin power. Okay, there it is. All right, 8-pin power. Oh, no, it's the split 8-pin. It's a 4 plus 4. Come on! I I can't see what I'm doing. I don't have enough light. Come on. Just, oh, it's the wrong way. That's the problem. Just get in there. Okay. Got that one. Two minutes left only. Crap. I do not wish to be defeated here. Okay. CPU's in. You know what? Since I've got it, we're jumping straight to graphics card because, no, we can't. I have to do the front panel connectors. Damn it. Oh, it's getting heavier. Oh, boy. No, no, I'm good. That was very close to hitting my laptop, but I stopped it. Um, here's some screws that can go back in here. I like, I hurt my arm trying to pull it out to stop the fall. <laughs> I, <laughs> I pulled very hard on my arm rope. All right. Okay, USB 3 needs to go through there. The USB 3 point, whatever they're calling it these days, needs to, where are you? Which one are you? Okay, this one. Come on, come on. Go through there. Front panel connectors need to go through. Mm. Go through here. Just bolt in there. All the way. There you go. And then what else we got? Front panel audio. Front panel audio, where are you at? Okay. You go there. And I believe 
that's it for front panel connectors. Okay. Okay, let's see how quickly we can do these. Front panel USB. Okay, so let's do front panel audio first. Five. Chase, four, stall it. Stall it. Three. Stall them. Two. One. No. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Come on. I think I can, yeah, I think I can still, I think I can beat 40. We'll keep it going for 40. I can beat 40 for sure. Okay. So we've got, what did I say? Power top? Yes, I did. Okay. Called it. You called nothing, Jake. He was not a believer. Um, power LED minus. Okay. Let's get that on there. Okay, front, ooh, did I bend that? Nope, all good. Okay, front panel is done. Uh, USB 3. Point whatever is done. What? What now? They what? How much paper? How much paper are you printing? Okay, boomers print things. Boomers print things. You're reusing it. <laughs> Okay, well, points for, points for sustainability, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's take out PCI slot covers. I'm still going. I'm still speed racing here. Go, go, speed racer. Rip that ink, says Avenger Mark II. All right, uh, let's do the network card first. So here's our 25 gigabit fiber card. Oh no, it's in a package. Okay, I'm just gotta try not to break it. Oh. Stop! Oh, okay. All right, whoo, so that'll go in there, and then, oh, dang it, let's get it, okay. I'm just gonna use my shoulder to brace it here. See, got the shoulder brace. Mm. Oh, crap. Hello? Someone bend, oh no, it's just a, uh, I found that more like traditional PC hardware manufacturers will sometimes bend the PCI bracket a little bit outward. Um, as far as I can tell, the reason for it is because a lot of older cases used to have uh, clearance issues with these backplate things fitting into like a little slot that was on the bottom that would kind of help support the card from the bottom. The problem is that a lot of newer cases have trouble with it, so you can just kind of bend them back the other way. And I'm having that issue right now. Okay, this is kind of rocking back and forth here, but I do not have time to deal with it. As long as the little golden fingers on the card contact the uh, little golden springy things in the slot, then we good. 33 minutes. 33 minutes. Okay. Okay. Graphics card. More shoulder bracing. Get in there. Get an RG view. Magnetic screwdriver. Oh, I can definitely, you know what? I bet I can get it under 35. I got this two minutes to install a GPU with one hand. Uh, one, minute now. one minute now. You told me. Okay, it doesn't matter. The point is this is going in. Even if my screwdriver weird prototype thing that I'm holding falls apart while I'm doing it. Did I say prototype? I meant um, nothing. Uh, bye bye. Uh, six pin PCIe, eight pin PCIe. Come on, it's a six plus two. So I gotta hold the thing like this. Get on there. See that? And I gotta put the other thing on the thing. Okay, mm let's just line you up and put you in there. No problem. Ah! Should have done this one first. 
There we go. It's in. Okay. I mean, like, that's acceptable cable management, right? Do you see any? Do you see any problems, Brandon? Yeah. See, that's like, I mean, that's uh, bulgy. Brandon, help me out here. Bulgy. Okay. All right. All right. Um, uh, okay. Let's pu pull this over here. Okay. What about the back? What about the back? Cable management. Ugh. Acceptable. <laughs> okay. I basically didn't do any. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> there. Okay. There. Uh, you want cable management? Here's your cable management. I'll I'll show you cable management. You want to judge me? There. Just put the thing there. Woo! I mean, that was less than 40 minutes. Look. Let he who is without um, building computers in over an hour cast the first RGB control puck. Yes! We got the side panel. Ah, got the other thing. No, stop it. Get back close. Okay. I got this. Um, they don't need to shoot tech links at all today, do they? Oh, uh, that's interesting. Um, oh, God. Uh, stop. I hate lining these things up with two hands. Oh, come on. I want my hand back. I hate this. Okay. We did it, Reddit. We only spilled the screw tray all over the keyboard of my laptop. Oh, crap. The magnets on my laptop are grabbing all the screws. Okay. This is, yeah, this is, oh, there's screws kind of everywhere. Um, I'll get them. I'll get them. I will only accept having my hand untied when this system is complete. And I haven't put this back in the thing yet, so it's not complete. This is a little courtesy thing. I always like to put the screws for the system inside the system. So if anybody needs them, then they'll be there. Look at that. Oh, oh for crying out loud. Wanted to do the, ow. OK, it's not as bad as when Electro Boom was here. OK, there. Final peel. Huh? Ow! Dang, it's dry today. There we go. OK, give me, give me my hand back, please. Actually, I can, realistically, I can probably get out of this in like two seconds based on the quality of your, quality of your knots. All right, we're going to have to have a look at the chat and see what my next challenge is going to be. Wet socks challenge. <laughs> now the other hand. Oh, boy. No, I really don't think so. I really don't think so. Uh, Left-handed. That's pretty rough. I mean, I guess we could do that. Um, <laughs> now the other hand. Oh, float plane. Why? Wet socks. Pull your hat over your eyes. I mean, I think hat over my eyes wouldn't even be that challenging. I can see a little. You know what? You know what? Yeah, fine. I'll do it. I'll do LTT store toque over the eyes for the next build. I can, I can see kind of a little bit. OK, OK, yeah. We're doing it. We got the next challenge. Do you want to summon uh, Nicholas to kind of uh, help clear this stuff away? We'll get the next one going, because I don't know what box all this stuff goes in. Oh, I'm just going to put this over here, and I'm going to do the next one. So just to give you guys some idea of how blindfolded I will be, uh, here's, here's my view. Um, yeah, that's representation. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's how much I'll be able to see. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited because I'm going to slay this. You guys aren't even going to know what hit you. 
Uh, M3 screws. Let's just throw those in there. I don't even, I don't even care about trying to put them back in the holder for this thing. We're not timing this one? Oh, we're timing it. Okay. We're timing it. You know why we're timing it? Because I'm going to do Yeah, that's right. Because I'm going to do it in under half an hour with a shoddy blindfold on. It's a good toque, but it's a shoddy blindfold. All right. So I'm just going to get my parts assembled here. OK, I got my screwdriver, which I, OK, if I lose track of my tools, that is going to F me over pretty good here, I think. So I've got my screwdriver. I've got my bits. I'm basically, OK, I got my thread ripper screwdriver. All right, I'm ready. I'm putting the parts on the table, though, to start. So we got, that was system number nine. And this is system number 12. Uh, is Nicholas coming? Because there's a distinct possibility that I will knock that over if it is not out of the way when I'm trying to build. OK, here we go. Blindfolded PC build challenge. OK, I'm going to just, I'm, I'm, I think it's fair to at least arrange the parts before I start. Is that fair? Is that within the rules? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. OK. So I'm just going to arrange all the parts before I start. I'm not going to take anything out of the boxes they're still in or anything, nothing like that. OK. So that's there. OK. Blindfolded PC build challenge. No problem. In my hoodie? Oh, that's an idea. Maybe I left the. Oh, yeah, it was a good idea. Unfortunately, uh, it was the wrong idea. But it was, hey, you know what? Yeah, that's how you learn, you know? You have ideas and they turn out to be bad. Oh, thanks, Twitch chat. Well, yeah, but Twitch chat, I mean, you know, they're either, they're either willfully evil or they're stupid. So no offense, Twitch chat. I love you all very much. It's just if you were, if you were big brain, you'd be on YouTube or Flowplane. Um, realistically, Flowplane. OK. RIP PC12 says Eunice 1903 on full plane? What are you talking about? RIP PC12. That's, that's, a, that's a lie. That's an evil, terrible lie. OK. I'm ready. I'm ready to prove that liar on float plane wrong. All right, three, two, one, go. I got half an hour, right? Yep. OK, I'm feeling my way. I'm feeling my way through this. So I got, uh, where's the box for this case? Because I want to put stuff straight in there that I know that I don't need. Mm. OK, where can I put this down? Is there a thing on here? Feels like there's extra weight. Oh, yeah, there's your problem. Oh, OK. So oh, motherboard's going to go right there. Is that on the table? That's on the table, right? OK, now there's a couple of challenges before we even begin here. I need the M.2 screws. Oh, oh first try. I'm going to put that on the motherboard. OK. Then I need the dim dot two. Is it in here? Uh, that is a no. Stop it. Is it in? Oh, man, where is it? There's the lift. There it is. OK, we've got the dim dot two. That's what we need to install the SSD. Now I just need this thing. This thing. Uh, where did the case for this, um, the box for this case go? Can I, can I has it? I'd like to has it. This is uh, 12, PC 12. You know what? It's going there. OK. OK, got the motherboard. Oh my god. It occurs to me this is a thread ripper. OK. Uh, shoot. Where did the screws for the M.2 go? I can, oh, I can barely see. Did I drop them? Yeah, they were on the floor. Just what? On the floor? How'd they fall on the floor? I don't know. Someone moved them. I'm not counting that against me. <laughs> OK. I need a, OK, there we go. So I don't remember if it's, yeah, I think it's one, two, three to loosen. So I'm actually doing it wrong, but I really don't think it matters. It's more important when you are tightening it. Come on. OK. What's that? OK. 
blindfolded PC build challenge. Don't worry, we got We're this. We're just trying to show off this beautiful toque. Threadripper. Yeah, exactly. This is how you're supposed to wear it. <laughs> Meanwhile, we get a whole bunch of like refund requests. Can't see, can't see. Two out of ten. Two out of ten toque. Bad beanie. Is that promo code still active on LTT store for uh, $10 off a water bottle? Uh, I think it'll end soon. Oh, okay. So guys, uh, uh, what, was the, what was the promo? One hand. One hand. For $10. Promo code one hand, $10 off. Okay. Got that off. Now, I'm not quite ready to... Nick says there's 15 minutes left. 15 minutes one. left. Go for it, guys. All right. Got the CPU. Uh, I'm going to leave the socket protecting cover on while I try to slip this in here. There is a chance this will slip out of the rails. I've had that happen before, especially because I can't really see what I'm doing. But it's uh, right. Come on, baby. I actually find it's easier to close my eyes and just kind of feel my way around it in a certain sense. Uh, there it is. Ho, 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 ho. I'm flying, ladies and gentlemen. Where is it? There it is. Go. Okay. Uh, where are you at? Where are you at, screw hole? There you are. <laughs> Got you. Okay. Fumbling around awkwardly in the dark. Yep. This is this is a thing that I can do. <laughs> okay. Trying to find exactly the right spot. Shoot. Is that not it? I thought that was it. Is that not working? It's working for me. Is it not working for you? You know what I'm saying? We're at four minutes. Four minutes. You know, I think I'm doing better than last time. Yep. Okay. I want, I want a half an hour build. Half an hour build, blindfolded. Okay. Oh, if I can't do it, I'm honestly going to be kind of tempted to just go for it again. Uh, you know what? Let's do RAM before we do thermal paste. So notches to this side. Uh, generally speaking, it's labels in. That's the dim dot two. So that means that's, there we go. And then we need the outermost and the next one. So labels probably this way. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on, baby. Yes. OK. I can, like, I can kind of see it a little bit. So I can see there, like, which side of the dim the label's on and stuff like that. It's easier to line up the outside ones, huh. but I can do the other ones too. Can it? Uh, oh, I can't tell which side is the label on this one. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I almost put the thermal compound on before doing the round. That would have been a big mistake. <laughs> My hands would be covered in thermal compound. Come on, baby. In you go. Come on. Where is it? Oh, shoot. Uh, yes. <laughs> if you guys are wondering if I can actually not see, um, <laughs> that would be, yep, I can't see. Ah, oh, come on! Okay, so that's the first one. That's the second one, right there. Oh, man, those first two, so smooth. Wait a second. Does it go in the other way? It. Okay, right there. Shoot, it is the other way. Okay. Oh man, I did not consider the warmth of this toque and the warm breathing I would be doing. Is there something in the way here? This just will not go in. That's what she said. Okay. Can't, I can't quite see. Certain colors pass through more easily than others. Um, I think I'm between slots right now. Um, is that it? No. Oh, God. It's stuck, but I don't think it's installed. 
Mm. We're at the seven minute mark. Okay. okay. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Very stressed. Come on! Okay. Must be a defective memory module. Bad memory module. Okay. Just get in there. What the heck is going on here? This has to be. Okay, it's right here. I can feel it. No, just to the side. There. There. No, it's crooked. Why is it crooked? Yes! Okay, woo! Little victories. Just one at a time. Okay. Oh, you're vicious. No. Okay, I just gotta take my time. That's the secret. There, see? No problem. Okay, I gotta keep track of where I put stuff. There's my, you know what? Let's do the M.2 install. I can do this. Oh, my breath is very warm in my face right now. This is not designed for this. Okay, now I believe there's two screws on one side of this and three screws on the other. And black is a color that is extremely difficult for me to see through my, uh, through my veil here. Mm. Okay, I think I need this driver for these. It's hard to feel where the screws are though. Okay, I gotta keep track of these screws. No problem, I'm gonna put them all here, right? That should be easy to find later. And I'm gonna put another one here. I think I put that in the same spot. Shoot, I don't know where the, it's hard to feel, this one's more textured. Is this just, does this come off? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh man, there's a there's a texture here that makes it really hard to find the screw. I think it's here. Oh, what? Okay, where was this one? What's the height of this one? Where is? It? Where the hell is it? Oh, is it way up here? I can't. I don't know if it's symmetrical or not. Is that it? Oh, yes, 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 got it. Okay. Okay, where are those other screws? Oh, lordy, well, they're, they're all over there somewhere. There, okay, I think they're all together. Okay, so peel this off. I'm gonna take off the- We're at 10 minutes. Film. 10 minutes? Oh, I've spent way too long on that memory stick. Okay. Eh. Um, oh crap, I don't even know where the, okay, I'm not gonna fall into that trap. Ah, oh, SSD, okay. SSD is open. All right, now I know that the, I know that the controller is on the top of this. So, this side's the top. Where'd the thing go? Okay, we got that. Oh crap, where's the other half of it? No, I already found that half. This one. Okay. So it must go in this way. Oh, shoot balls. I didn't put the standoff in yet. I hate that motherboard manufacturers don't just put these stupid things in for you. It's like, look, if it cannot operate without this thing, and having it in there doesn't interfere in any way with it otherwise existing, then just put it in. I mean, I kind of get it because there's different lengths, blah, 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 but it's just annoying. Asus at least apparently has a new system that uses like a, uh-oh. I heard it. Good save. Apparently ASUS has a new system that uses plastic, so that's cool, but um, has not made its way to this motherboard yet. Come on. Okay. Thinking. Can't see it. You're at 12 minutes. Black 
and actually silver are both really, really hard to see. Am I trying to put it in the wrong hole? Is this not like, is this not a screw point for it? It feels like it should be. It is. You want a hint? What? No, I don't need a hint. It's in. Yeah, that's fine. Where'd my SSD go? Oh, ew, it's sticky. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I got my, uh, where's my controller? Controller's there. Okay. So this goes, this goes on here. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, I don't need no hint. Get your hint off me, you damn dirty ape. Okay. Okay, I put this here. Okay. If I lose this screw, it might be game over. Come on. Come on. I feel like I can't even breathe right now. Okay. Did I get it? Is it in? Uh, are you sure? Oh, shoot! I can't. I can't get it lined up right. Normally there's a little like, there it is. Okay, the retention thing's in. Okay, so it's right there. 14 minutes, by the way. Shh. Not helpful, Chase. Okay. Whew. And then this goes on this way. And, oh man, I have, oh crap, I have no idea how I'm going to line this up. I think I feel three screws here, though, so that's uh, a good sign. Let's start with these ones. Uh... Oh, why do I do these things to myself? I could have just built computers. You guys would have just watched me build computers. I know this for a fact, because you do it all the time. I, I could have just gone easy on myself. Oh, shoot. OK, yeah, the connector is down here. OK. Uh, <laughs> I put it on that way with such confidence, too. <laughs> I was like. I know which way this goes on. Wait, was it on the right way? I can't, uh, hmm. Okay, is this, this, this might be right. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is, is that, did I line this up? Uh-huh. Can you come back a little bit now? Yeah, yeah, I can do anything you need. Oh, I think I got it. Uh, I didn't get it. Did I get it? I didn't get it. Oh, okay. Okay, did I get it? Oh man, I can't. I can't tell. Um, okay, where's the standoff? Standoff's here. Just gotta kinda guide it in. Eh. That thread? Uh huh. No, that would be a negatory. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Serenity now. So that's. Wait. Where is the screw? Okay. So that's the screw. That's the screw coming through there. Okay. All right. And this is the thing that needs to go on it. Yeah. That. Oh, crap. OK, OK, OK. OK. Where'd it go? Oh, 
it's still in here. Okay, which side? Oh, did I drop? No, okay, it's here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna try and line it up first, because the the goop I can kind of see pretty easily through the through the mask. Uh, okay, I think based on just kind of lining up the two sides, I think that it's in the right spot now. So, what do you think, Brandon? Can you see the screw holes through there? Do I have it? I think it's lined up. I'm going for it. I'm going for gold. That's the only color I know. Gold for winning. Oh no. Oh, come on. Gold for something. Gold for. Okay. Oh shoot. I don't think that's it. We are at 18 minutes. Yeah, I'm working on it. Shoot. Nope, I missed. Holy crap, I think I got it. I got it. Oh, okay. Now that that one's lined up, the other two are going to be a piece of cake. Oh. So annoying. Now, to be clear, I'm not like, this isn't a critique of Asus's mounting thing for this. You're not supposed to do it blindfolded. Um, it's fine. It's just not the easiest thing to do when you can't see. Am I just like leaning on this motherboard? Oops. <laughs> where's the, where's the last? I can't find the last screw hole. It's so hard to feel. Oh, cause it's not on the ribbed part. Oh, it's right here. That's why I couldn't find it before. I thought it was in the ribbed part. Okay, so there's a notch on this thing. And I'm pretty sure that goes this way. I've already opened up the, uh, the retention doodadama jig. Okay. And I think, hmm, I think that's lined up ish. I don't want to put too much force because I don't really know what's under me. Around the memory slots, it's kind of all, it's all memory slot. It's all just like plastic, but there's other board components here that could be an inconvenience if I crush them. Uh, no. Is that not in? That feels like it's in. That seems like it's in the right spot. Mm. Crap, I turned it around. Or wait, no, I just had it completely wrong. It goes in the other way. Oh, for crying out loud. You know, you guys could be a lot more helpful. I you didn't want hints. No, I'm good. I don't need hints. I can do this without it. Well, I can help. We're at 20 minutes. No, it's fine. Is that it? Uh, like, both sides are in, right? Yep. OK. Yeah, that should be, should be, uh, oh, what was that? OK, that's fine. That's, uh, oh. Okay, we'll get that after. Okay, uh, nice. Whew. Okay, screwdriver. I got to change my bit, which is no problem because I can I can feel the kind of bit it is. Uh, oh, sort of. Um, hmm. No. Oh crap! It could be either of these. Oh no. No. Okay, one of these is Torx, and one of these is. Uh, hex. I need whichever one goes into the bottom of this heat sink. I need to know where the bottom of this heat sink is. Mm. This one. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Now I need thermal compound. Uh, that's a screwdriver. Uh, yes! Thermal compound? Okay. I'm not even going to try and do the X'd out method. Um, I'm just going for like lines. I'm going for the across. That's my only hope. There, that's probably good. Okay, and then just to make sure, because I can kind of see off the 
the studio lights like reflection, I can kind of see if it's spreading. So I'm just going to pop the heatsink on here and I'm going to make sure that it's spreading out pretty good. Um, oh no. Oh no. Okay. How do I find the, how do I find the screw holes though? Oh, there they are. Wait. Oh no, that's not them. There they are. Um, where's the thing? Okay. Okay. That's approximately the right spot, I think. Okay. Come on. Get, oh no, it's not that close. Uh, it's close-ish. I gotta shove this way a little. Just give it a little shove along. You know what? I'm not gonna try and spread it around and pull it back off. I'm going. If I've got this in here, then I'm going for it. I've got it. Where did I put my screwdriver? Uh oh, I was. I wasn't a good boy. Uh, there it is. Okay. I've got to try and remember to put my screwdriver down in the right spot. Is that in? I can't tell. Uh, no. Okay, maybe this side will be easier. Oh man, there's not a lot of room to work in here. Okay. Guys, I don't ever actually recommend doing this. Um, I thought this would be like just like kind of a fun challenge, but it's actually really hard and honestly not that fun. I'm really stressed out and I'm starting to kind of like stress sweat and even so, even though I'm in a t-shirt, I'm like extremely warm and uncomfortable right now. It really doesn't help that I'm breathing through a toque. Okay, I think that's in. Yep. Oh, it's not. It's just like, it's so hard to tell if anything's working or not. I'm like, you think you'll know, you think you'll be able to tell just based on like, you know, if it feels like the, the threads are caught, but it's surprising how hard it is without the visual confirmation. We are already at 24 minutes. 24 minutes. Um, I do think a lot of the other things will go faster. Like this is all the, this is all the like picky fine detail work. Mm, sort of. We might get stuck at the front panel connectors again. No way, I got the front panel connectors in the bag. I actually have a plan for that. Okay, I got this. CPU cooler's going on. I don't even need to be able to see. Okay, now if I recall correctly, the CPU fan header is the one towards the right hand edge of the motherboard. So all I have to do is feel for where the little plastic uh, knobbin is that keeps you from putting the fan connector on the wrong way, and I should be able to get that plugged in. Okay. Put my screwdriver there like a good boy. And then, ah, there's the back of the board. Here's this. And I'm not even gonna try and get this lined up perfectly. That seems fine. And then fan connector, I believe, is over here which means this needs to go on like, oh, ho, 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 dang. Who's got this now, ladies and gentlemen? There's my, there's my fan connector. So we have this motherboard. Did something just fall off it? No, I don't, I, think, so. I, I don't think so. We've got this motherboard fully built up. So I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, we're gonna keep that real safe. Four minutes left. Four minutes left. Okay, well, we're clearly, <clears throat> we're clearly not hitting the half an hour target, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get as close as I can here, okay? Uh, power supply. Oh, God. i got to find the modular cables. Okay, that's okay. I can do this. You know how? Because they should all feel reasonably distinct. This is something. Can you at least tell me if this is one of the Silverstone ones or one of the Seasonic ones? It's a Silverstone. This is a Silverstone. Okay, so I believe that means I have a dual 6 plus 2 um, cable in here somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> I'm fine. 
I'm fine and everything is fine. So this is a dual 6 plus 2. I need that. This is a dual 6 plus 2. I do not need that. This is another one. I don't need it. And this is another one. I don't need any of these. So uh, nope, I'm just not even going to try. I'm putting those there. All right. Now I need the 24 pin. I need two 8 pin EPS connectors. And I need a SATA connector. So let's start with the 24 pin. Wait a minute. I don't feel anything in here that feels like a 24 pin. Uh, OK, well, there's an 8 pin um, motherboard power connector. I kinda, I'm kind of tempted to just put this on now, now that I like have it in my hand. Oh, wait, the motherboard's not here anymore. <laughs> OK, so, oh. wait a minute. 24 pins over here. How did the 24 pin get over there? Did I, did I put it there? You, you, were, you put it there. I put it there. Yeah. Um, oh, well, I'm sure glad that I found that. Uh, OK, so the 20 plus 4. You know, you know what? No, I want the motherboard back. I'm just going to put these in as I find them. And yeah, we're going to do it that way. No problem. How you doing? How you doing, YouTube chat? How you doing, Twitch chat? Float plane chat? Hope you guys are having an easier go of it than me right now. Why do I do these things? For your entertainment, I hope. Are you not entertained? OK. I have no idea how I'm going to put this in. So I got to hold the little four pin in place while plugging in the other 20. It's, hmm, it, won't, it won't stay. There we go. Okay, I've got it. Okay, I think this is the 24 pin spot. Just got to line it up a little bit. There you go. Let's see if I can get you guys a better look at what I'm hopefully doing. Uh, oh, shoot. Um, hmm. oh, that's not really best. There, is that better? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Full punch says we're very much entertained. Stop uh, the madness. <laughs> all right. Good. I'm. I've got this. Come on. Hey. Wow. Yelling at it works. I'm pretty sure that's in. Got it. Oh, nice. Okay. Whew. So here's a four plus four. If I recall correctly, the. Um, Little the locks are towards the outside of the board, so I just gotta. Ow, there's a lot of pokey things around here. Ouch. Okay, four plus four. Four plus four is here. Four plus four is here. This is this is it, right? Right here. I think so. I think so. Don't answer. I want to do it on my own. I'm I'm asking, I'm asking the chat, and they'll answer me. But I'll never see it. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no. OK, this is definitely oriented right, because you can tell, because the two clips on the two halves will have a gap between them if you have them uh, on backwards. You know what? I'm going to try doing one half at a time. I've had to do this in some sort of very tight situations before. And it can make it harder. But it also can make it a little bit easier. OK, are there, is there an extra six pin here? Oh, bananas, there is. Oh, well, that's your problem. Uh, OK, yeah, I'm trying. OK, that's the problem. So there's two eight pins, and then there's an auxiliary six pin for if you've got a lot of PCI Express devices. And I was trying to plug four pins of an eight pin into a six pin. OK. Ah, I think that's in. Nice. Um, oh, no, that's the, here we go. Nope, that's the six plus two. So that's going to, oh, I st oh I still have that on. Just get out of my way. Okay.
I need another 8-pin power connector. Did I? Did I? Hmm. Oh, I never actually found the other one. That's right. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Oh. Okay. Okay. This seems like a much longer cable than the last one. Okay. Okay. You know what? After this, I might just speed build the last one. See how fast we can go. I'll see if I can beat my time from last time or something. Maybe we can go for yeah, 17 minutes or under. Yeah, I think last time was 17 and a half, I want to say. We're getting some mixed messages on the hat now. On the hat? Yeah. It's <laughs> taking a while. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying, you guys. Is this in? I can't tell. Okay. Okay. Motherboard fully built up. Got all the cables on there. There we go. Ouch. What's that? Madison says take it off. She says take it off. <laughs> no. I'm determined. It's going to go much faster now. Trust me, guys. And for someone asking in chat, we're at 33 minutes and 30 seconds. 33 so. minutes and how many seconds? 30. And 30 seconds. OK. OK. I can do this. I think I can do the rest of it in 12 minutes. Oh, ow. Okay. There we go. So what we got to do is we got to push all these out like this. See, I already know some of the things that need to be done here. All right. Power supply is going to go in really fast because I'm ready. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that is the orientation. Now I just need the screws for it which I left over here. Uh, okay. No promises about like colors or anything, but I know these are the right threading. Oh, that one's definitely very different. Okay. Did I get all matching ones? Okay. Well, that's okay. Okay. You know, in some ways, this is actually easier than the blindfolded one. Uh, in some ways, it is significantly more challenging, though. So this, I think, goes here. Yep. And this goes here. This is... Hmm. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I think it does. I think that goes there. Uh-huh. Oh, that's off the edge. How about that? Did we get it? <laughs> I don't actually wait. OK. Uh, I think this is one of the, wait, where are the holes? Oh, oh, this is going to be the easiest one to find. OK, the notched one at the top, right there, see? Putting it through the notched one, and then, uh, Right there. Wait. Oh, it's moved. It moved a bit. I think that's it. Someone in chat just said, hello, new editor. Welcome to the LMG family. Do you want one, uh, the one-handed build or the blindfolded build yeah, for your computer? Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is this is this. I mean, look, the whole back of the power supply is covered in holes. Okay? It's it's really hard to tell which hole is like a good hole, you know? You, oh, I think I think it's upside down. Wait, no. See, that has got to be a screw hole. So this has to go here, and this has to go here, right? Right? Um, right? Right? Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. No, 
Where did how did it slip? How did Holy crap, it's right here. I can feel it. I can feel them lining up. That that has to be it. How? Is that it? Did I get it? I think I no, oh, I didn't get it. Oh, come on. Okay. That feels or is that just a like regular honeycomb hole? That that feels threaded. That one right there. Is that it? Tell, just tell me. Well then why isn't it going in? Yes. Should. Should's a word. It should be going in. But it doesn't. Why doesn't it go in? I, I can't find it. Wait. See, why isn't that going in? That has to be it. It has to. Like that. That's got to be it. What is going on? I. Uh, is this screw not threaded right? No, this is it. Okay, okay, without the bracket. Okay, so I can really like tell where I'm going here. That is not going in. That is the right hole. That's the right hole. Yep. Is this not a 632 screw? Okay, I know. I, you didn't grab from the 632 bin. This is not a 632 screw. The new person, initials JA, I'll kill him. He sorted the screws. This is not a 632 screw. Look at them. That's why it wouldn't go in. Look. They're not the same. They're not the same. This goes in the the unknown items, and I need a 632 screw. I was fine. I had this under control. I was let down by bad actors here in our midst who were sabotaging my effort to build a computer while blindfolded here. OK? Oh, OK. Now I forget which one I was even working on. It's this one. It's this one. OK. This is how long this should have taken. Okay. <laughs> I'm so, oh, I, that was so frustrating. That was so frustrating. I'm so annoyed. Mismatched screw completely screwed me screwed me over because I had this completely under control up until that point. That's the only thing that's gone wrong on this build. Everything else, smooth sailing. I didn't just grab that screw again, did I? No, I put it away. Okay, because this is not this is not going in. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I got this. Just force it. Just wait. Did I put this on upside down? I give up. Fine. I'm out. I'm done. I'm out. Oh no, it is it is in. Wait, what? What is going on here? Why is this Okay, so I oh <laughs> I hit the wrong hole on this one. You're gonna have to get a lot closer, Andy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not a hole, that's just a honeycomb thing. <laughs> ah, okay. That's why the other one wouldn't go in. Look, I made a fair bit of progress, okay? <laughs> that was that was the best I could do. That really was the best I could do. I'm sorry. 
Okay, where's my last screw? You know what? In the spirit of in the spirit of the of the blindfold, I'm leaving the mismatched power supply screws. Let's finish building this thing. How you guys doing, chat? How you doing? I want my hat back. Everyone's talking about my bad hair. There. Okay. It's fixed. My ego doesn't need any more any more damage today. It's had enough. Let's put the let's put the motherboard in. Oh, okay. You know, I've always said I thought that I could build a computer blindfolded. I was clearly wrong because it is pretty challenging. Like very, very more difficult than I expected. Like I thought it would be hard to be, to be clear. I, I didn't think it was just going to be like effortless or anything. But I thought it was the kind of thing that I could probably do in 30 or 40 minutes. Clearly that is not the uh, case. Float okay. plane is starting to say hashtag shave Linus. Shave Linus. Ooh. I don't know. So here's the thing. I was not really like the one who made the decision about the facial hair one way or the other. So initially, I didn't really decide anything because I was just lazy and didn't feel like shaving. So it grew out. And then after that, I was like, LOL, if the community says keep it or shave it, I will go with what they say. And we used a uh, special edition t-shirt. So people either got the beard shirt or the, the clean shirt. And the community, like, not unanimously, but overwhelmingly chose the bearded look. So now that I've had it for like over six months, I'm basically leaving it up to the wife. If she wants me to get rid of it, I'll get rid of it. If she wants me to keep it, I'll keep it. So far, she has said that the benefits of me not looking um, like I did outweigh the drawbacks of me being like scruffy and, um, and stuff. So, so far I'm keeping it, but there is the distinct possibility that I will get rid of it at some point. I definitely need a haircut. That much is certain. The, the head hair, the head hair has got to, has got to go. It's really bad. All right. Oh man, I'm like, I'm going through this with a new appreciation for how, you know, having, being able to see what I'm doing is wonderful. Like how would, could I possibly have figured out which of these trays of screws to pull from, for example? That would have been extremely challenging. Like counting them, like there, now they're all counted already and I can just go ahead and put these in. And I get to talk to you wonderful people. Uh, oh, did I manage to get all the memory sticks in the right slots? Oh, I totally did. That's cool. I mean, at least everything I did, I think I did without, uh, without causing too many problems. I think the system should probably work fine. <laughs> the moment when Linus low-key admits his wife thinks he looks like a kid without facial hair. Look, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. She didn't say that. Nobody said that. That's not, that's not a thing. I don't have to, I don't have to, um, sorry, uh, another comment. What, what else we got here? The benefits of the beard, i.e. Yvonne not looking like she's married to a teenager. Okay, come on. Now, I don't even have that much of a baby face anymore. I, I don't think that's actually a major concern for her. But then I guess I don't really know. I never really asked for clarification as to what she means by that. I just sort of rolled with it. Um, before the beard, we couldn't tell Linus and Madison apart, says the road flare. Now that's not a nice thing to say to Madison. I don't think she looks anything like me without a beard. <laughs> Shave the head. Ooh, fact, beards offer protection from common illnesses. What? And gives you additional protection from the sun. Okay, that sounds like beard propaganda protection from the sun. I don't think that in my line of work, 
getting too much sun is a major concern, so I think it's probably fine to, uh, to go with the bare face if I really want to. I'm also, Rand says, loving the TikToks. Yeah, there's been a bunch of people internally bugging me to start a TikTok for a long time. Brandon was one of them. He was like, we should really have a TikTok. I'm like, what is TikTok? He's like, trust me, we should really have a TikTok. So that's one of the things that we put Madison in charge of, like right when she started, is uh, figure out, you know, in super corporate speak, we put her in charge of TikTok. We're like, we need to figure out a TikTok strategy. And she's like, strategy? Mm -hmm. We're going to start posting TikToks. So I never actually saw like a, you know, a proposal or a document or strategy or anything. She just walked up to me yesterday. She's like, hey, you need to lip sync to this song. And I'm like, what? She's like, lip sync to this song. And I'm like, oh, OK. Uh, for TikTok? She's like, yeah, sort of. So instead of it being on TikTok, it was a tweet promoting the TikTok. And then I go on there, and we already had, I think it was like 4,000 followers. And four, wait, no, I didn't look at, no, I didn't look at it yesterday. Right. So I only looked at the tweet yesterday because I wanted to look at the TikTok, but I was on my phone and it wanted me to get the app. And I was like, ah, I don't really want to install TikTok. So uh, this morning, I came in and I fired it up on the desktop. I'm like, oh, OK. So I Google search Linus Tech Tips TikTok because you know, you need the Google to tell me where to go. And I didn't actually even know like, what our channel um, handle was. It turns out it's Linus Tech, just like on Twitter. And I go on there. And we went from 4,000 followers yesterday to 100,000 followers. There's four TikToks on there already without me authorizing any of them, one of which has 2.5 million plays. Like, is that? That's TikTok. That's just, that's just like TikTok for you? I think so, yeah. I was blown away. So I go on the Play Store. This app has a billion downloads. A billion with a B. Like, I'm pretty sure there's more people using TikTok than like, Google Docs. Actually, I'm like almost 100% sure there's more because like Google Docs is like actual like, you know, for boring work people now. Like it's not even like, you know, cool trendy. Yeah, I'm like cloud documents or whatever. It's, I don't know, man. I just my mind was basically blown though. That a this stuff is just like happening without my authorization, and B, that it's working. I'm glad y'all are having fun, though. I'm really glad. What a boomer moment for Linus. How to tell Linus is a pre-2000 child. I am so far pre-2000. I am so far pre-2000. It's not even funny. Pre-2000. Man, you know what's mind blowing is you could be born in 2000 and be 21 today, like an actual adult. What year were you born? 1998. Born 1996. 96. You disgust me. <laughs> you young people. We've had this discussion. I know we've <laughs> had this discussion, and I stand by everything I said. So like, oh, okay. Wait till Linus finds out about the giant PC community on TikTok. No, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, anywhere there's a billion people, there's a giant community of just about everything, right? Here's what I want to know, OK? How do you know TikTok is not going to be another Periscope or Vine? How do you know TikTok is not going away? I mean, it's probably good news for the community that the Oracle acquisition has been delayed. That that was that was one of the that was one of the nails in the in the coffin. Just about any time a platform like that gets acquired by a big boring company, um, it doesn't go particularly well. I think Instagram is probably a notable exception. But uh, what was the one that was full of all the lewd stuff until like Microsoft acquired it or someone acquired it? Um, Tumblr, Tumblr. Who acquired Tumblr? I don't know who acquired Tumblr. You want to look it up? That's the one, though, right? Uh, that did happen, what you're talking about, but I don't know if it was because they were acquired. No, no, I just mean like Tumblr was the one with all the lewds on it, right? Sure. Uh, well, no, is it not? I can't remember. Tumblr, Omega Low. Yeah, okay, Tumblr and Yahoo bought them. That's right. 
So the problem is that once you acquire something where you, you know, spend, a, okay, so when you're a startup, you are effectively spending someone else's money, assuming that you have funded your startup through like venture capital. So you don't really care about making money because your exit strategy is to make money on selling the app. So as part of the sort of natural order of doing business, when you buy something, you make an investment uh, and you expect some kind of return. So if you're the actual founder of, of an app like Tumblr, you're part of the founding group, you don't really care about making any money because you will make money by selling it. So you build this entire um, user base and that's, that's effectively what you're selling, right? But then when you go and acquire it, so let's say you're Yahoo or you're, you're whoever else, you expect to actually make money on it at some point. So inevitably, whoever acquires a platform like that wants to monetize it, which usually means, like in the case of Tumblr, they booted off a lot of the lewd content that was what made it popular in the first place and made it more you know, safe for work, which made it pointless because once you remove the whole reason someone's on a platform, they leave. They just go somewhere else because there's always going to be someone else who's willing to host that you know, edgy, non-mainstream content if you don't do it. Um, so that's why I would expect that if someone like Oracle picked up TikTok, they would want to find a way to monetize it super heavily. With that said, I'm not on TikTok. For all I know, it's like completely plastered with ads like mobile games or whatever else anyway. So guys, feel free to feel free to let me know. Didn't the hub try to buy Tumblr? I actually don't know. Now that would have been a more that would have been a more natural, more more synergistic to use a business term uh, acquisition. That's more like a like a merger and acquisition, less like just an outright, hey, we're buying this thing that we have absolutely no understanding of whatsoever. I'm just reading right here. So I think TikTok used to be called Musically. And then it got acquired by the Chinese company ByteDance, and then it changed names and logos and everything. Got it. So TikTok has actually already been acquired once. Uh, ByteDance bought it. They didn't actually develop it. So there you go. Now we know. Um, Wall Street Bets should buy TikTok. <laughs> oh, man. Wall Street Bets. Good old Wall Street Bets. Uh, power goes on top. Uh, let's go ahead. Do I smell curry? Is someone eating curry? Uh, you have your food over here. Do you need to eat? I have food? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, if I'd known that she, she was going to bring that, I would have taken a break to eat it. Um, those burgers are absolutely disgusting cold. Uh, oh, well. I guess that's what I'm stuck with. Just that the CEO life. Uh, let's go ahead and plug in this power LED pin. OK. And last one. Oh gosh. Well, there we go. Sweet. Eat on stream. Oh no, no, I don't want to eat on the stream. Besides, I'm almost done. Check this out. I've only got to put a graphics card in here. Let's go ahead and pop that off. I actually missed something on the other two systems though. The built-in fan controller has a PWM um, like mail connector that comes off it that needs to go into the motherboard so that that signal will control all of the case fans that are pre-wired up to it. And I did not plug it in in the other two. So the case fans are either not going to spin or more likely they are not going to be PWM controlled so they'll just spin at full speed. Um, one of which is probably fine and the other of which is definitely not good. Because with this much heat in here, especially once we add 3090s to these things, we are going to need case fans. I mean, I think we should just do the third build as a speed one, like you said, so we can um, try and get it done in under 20 minutes. Yeah, we can do the we can do the last build as a pure speed build. Honestly, at this point, if I didn't really need these systems built so that our new editors had systems to work on. I would just be like, you know what? I'm going to do this another day. I am so tired. <laughs> that took, that was like extremely stressful trying to do that build with, uh, with the blindfold on. I was like, am I breaking it? I can't tell if I'm breaking it. This is really uncomfortable. <laughs> we 
Oh, man. Yeah, thanks. I, I appreciate that. Um, someone else builds following your instructions, but you can't look at the computer. So we've actually kind of done that. We did like a first person view thing where you could see through a camera on the other person's head, and then they were blindfolded and we had to direct them. And you guys, for the most part, really did not receive that video very well. So I don't think we're going to be revisiting that concept anytime soon. Let's go ahead and pop the side panel on. Oh. And plump. And you know what? I think I, OK. I'm feeling good. I'm ready. System number three is done. Let's put this away. And we're going to speed build the last one. Under 17 minutes? Sure. That's what I did last time? OK. That's what you keep saying. That's what I keep saying. You know what? I only say it because it's the truth. Let's get that power cable in there. I'm going to get all my parts prepped. 17 minute build. Here it comes. I missed. That's fine. Let me get everything over here. Oh, these are pieces of that one. Womp. Uh, OK, that was, that was totally going to go in without you catching it. Uh, these are also part of that one. Let me get the case. I can do this. 17 minutes. This is the finale, the speediest build. So if I'm under 17 minutes, I beat my time from last time. And then I have a new record to beat. This is basically the same system as last time, with the only real exception being that we've changed the color of the case. And uh, the motherboard model has changed ever so slightly. NHU whatever S. OK, motherboard box. All right. OK. You guys ready? Hold on. I gotta, uh, I'm going to move my laptop out of the way. So I don't accidentally knock it off the table when I whip these doors off here. OK. Right. Three, two, one, go. OK. Editor number 10, you are getting the speediest build ever. This is going to be 16 and a half minutes. There's that thing. Here's uh, not that thing. That's not what I need. Here's this thing. Let's rip this off now. OK. Garbage goes there. Even when you're going fast, you can still be tidy. Motherboard. Uh, let's do the SSD first, actually. I'm just going to get that out of the way now. OK. Screwdriver. That's on there. Being able to see these sure does make this go a lot faster. Screw number, no, 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 no. There you go. One and two. And no, no, can't slip. Can't slip now. Three. OK. Got to get the peel. 16 and a half minutes. That's my goal. Okay. SSD. Get out of there. Yeah. Oh, right. Right, I put the thing. There it is. Oh, OK. Cannot afford these precious seconds. Every second counts when you only have Six, 600, like 400, like a thousand of them. Okay. Uh, get the, the screw. I hate these little M key screws. Okay. So M.2 is on. M.2 cover is sure a lot easier to line up when you can see the bloody holes. Okay. That's on there. It's kind of stuck in place with the thermal pad. So now all I need to do is tighten these bad boys down. Sorry, I know I'm kind of leaning in kind of a weird spot, but I've got this is a speed build, not a making sure I actually show you guys what I'm doing build. That what, sorry? Oh, yeah, I can't, uh, can't look at that right now. I'm trying to, OK. How long has it been? Two minutes. Two minutes, what? Two minutes already? How did I do this in 17 minutes last time? OK, uh, okay RAM. OK, second RAM stick. OK, third RAM stick. OK, 
fourth round stick. Okay. Screwdriver. Open. It's supposed to be three, two, one. Okay, while I'm starting these, I will change the bit on this other screwdriver so I can do this a little faster. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Open. Three, two, one. Okay, got that out. Got our handy dandy 3D printed doodadamajig. Got that in there. Pop that out there. Put that in there. Uh, e confirm real quick. Make sure that's actually, that does not look or feel quite right. Come on, baby. Don't let me down. No, I think it's good. Okay, so then I'm going to go a little bit with the not torque screwdriver just because it's faster. And then I will finish it off with the torque screwdriver. Come on. Rise and thread ripper, just get, get in there. Get in the socket. How you guys doing? You guys having a good uh, you guys having a good Wednesday? It's Wednesday, right? Hump day. Getting over the hump. Hump of the work week. Okay. Uh, where's my thermal compound? Can't be looking for thermal compound. Got no time. Okay. Let's get this thermal compound on here. Blomp, 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 blomp. Uh, not my finest work. Uh, oh boy, I think this uh, tube is just about gone. Oh no! Uh, eh, eh, eh. Um, uh, LTTstore.com shirts. They can also be used as a wipe. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, pop the fan off. Oh, yeah, I can't install it with it on. Let's line this up. Oh boy, is this ever easier than last time. Okay, where's my bit? There it is. Uh, what's my time? Four minutes and 30 seconds. Four minutes, 30 seconds. I got this. I got this. 16 and a half minutes. That's the time we're going for here. This will be my, if I can do it, this will be my fastest PC build ever. Get it. Tightened. Okay. There we go. Okay, CPU cooler just about installed. You know, all the little things I was trying to memorize, because I knew I had a blindfolded build coming up, uh, actually are kind of helping me right now, because I don't have to think too much about like uh, where things are going to plug into. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, that one's going to cost me. Put the fan on upside down. Okay, uh, made it so that the fan connector would not reach the header. Let's uh, get that. Wait, what? Why is this still not reaching? Are you kidding me? What the heck? Why is this not reaching? Okay, I'm legit a little bit confused right now. Uh, is th does this fan have the, the cable coming off in a different spot? This is costing me far too many precious seconds. Go through. Yes, yes. I know we're losing time. Chase. We're at six minutes. Okay, that's fine. I found another way to route the cable. I'm in. Okay, motherboard done. I was saying the fan was on the wrong side. Uh, no, the fan is not. It is on the wrong side. That's the problem. I'll fix it later. Okay. That's what happens when you rush. Okay, that's off. We got this. Okay. Oh, God. That's fine. Got to move all these out of the way. Might want to switch to the top down, Chase. Okay. So we got to remove this extra standoff right here. It's a little tight. No problem. Put that there. Motherboard goes in. Oh, we got to loosen this cable. Yeah, good. No problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot the peel. Oh, the peel's going to cost me. Okay, there we go. Let's lift this up. There we go. Yes. Okay, that's in. Now, I need my screws, which I believe are in this one. I need eight. That looks like about eight. Oh, it's seven. Okay. Time? 
Seven minutes, 30 seconds. Seven minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, you know what? I'm actually, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Seven minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, let's just get this out of the way because I'm gonna have to move it again anyway. Get in there. Man, from one of these cases to the next, I have definitely seen some inconsistencies in the spacing of the motherboard holes. And I'm pretty sure it's not that the motherboards have the holes in different spots. In Fantex defense though, they're definitely very affordable for the features and the build quality that they have. Okay, that goes in there. Let's get one more screw out. I got this. Okay, motherboard, last screw uh, is going in. Well, I need this other bit. I gotta use the iFixit screwdriver because it's at kind of like a funky angle. I do wonder if it would be faster to change the order of operations a little bit and throw the, um, there we go. That's in. Throw the cooler on after because it would make motherboard access at this stage in the game a little bit easier. Okay, motherboard is in. Ah, let's go ahead and do all the front panel connectors. Okay, this one goes here. There we go. This one goes, uh, this one goes here. This one goes here. These ones go here. This is some speed cable management right here. Power supply. So I will be sorting cables with my right hand while I take off these screws with my left. Here's my 24 pin cable. Speed build, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta do it fast, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. So there's our 24 pin. We're at nine minutes and 45 seconds. Nine minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, nine minutes, 45 seconds. I think I can still beat it. So here's one of the graphics card plugs. Here's one of the other graphics card plugs. So now all I need is dual eight pins for the CPU. Get off, twist tie. Dual eight pins for the CPU, which are gonna be in here. And then I need a SATA cable to power the built-in fan speed controller. Wait. What? Where are the dual eight pins? They're not, I don't think they're here. Uh, these are, Okay, this is not fair. Uh, if I'm missing cables, we can, can you ask Nicholas where the cables are for this? Pause it for now, yeah. Pa pause, pause timer. Okay, okay, pencil's down, pencil, I'm, my pencil's down. Uh, we need to find, I'm, I'm missing two eight pin cables for a Seasonic Prime. I mean, maybe other cables for all I know. There's only two PCI Express cables in here as well. That's really weird. I don't see anything over here. Again, this is one of those things where it's like way better to have all standardized builds instead of, um, oh, now that I think about it, where did I get the ones that I used for the blindfolded build? Maybe I accidentally stole these cables. Uh, what's chat say? Uh, What's up? I'm down here hanging out in the garbage where my laptop is so I can read chat. <laughs> pause, champ. Yeah, yeah, we're paused. We're paused. We're paused for just a moment while we try and find the cables. Do we have any idea what happened? Uh, not currently. There's no, uh, there's only two PCI Express 6 plus 2s, and there's no 8 pin EPS. Maybe just steal from one of the other ones for now? Okay. Oh. Oh, these were from inventory? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I'm I'm ready, Chase. Gimme give, give me a three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So here's one of my four plus fours. Mm, let's put that right there. 
And I need another, yep. There's another four plus four. I'll put that there. Then I've got SATA, which needs to be here. And the whole thing <coughs> can shove in the back. Uh, what's my time at right now? 11 minutes. 11 minutes, okay. So I'm trying to finish this in another five and a half minutes. I think it's doable. I'm just gonna put this in. This is not the correct order for this, but I'm already holding it and it's gonna be slower for me to try and put it down and then try and get it going again. Where is my screwdriver? Okay. Oh, just thread. Just go, okay, you got it. And now I need four of these. That's five, that's four. Okay, let's get power supply screwed in. Okay, one. Got this, I got this, I got this. 16 and a half. That's the time we're aiming for. What are we at? Uh, 10 seconds to 12 minutes. 10 seconds to 12 minutes. So I've got four and a half minutes to finish this thing up. All right. Let's get these cables over here. All right, we're at the 12 minute mark. So, a CPU can go up here and get in there. Okay. We're at 12 minutes now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've still got four and a half minutes. Oh, I can't be, can't be delaying here. Oh shoot, I tried to put it in the wrong way. <gasps> okay, that's in. All right, uh, SATA. Need to get the rest of these clear. Okay, SATA plugs in like that. That goes in the front. Other eight pin. There it is. This one goes here. Just get in there. Get in there, you evil piece of garbage. It's not garbage. It's not garbage. Thank you, Seasonic, for sending your lovely power supply. Um, I'm just, I'm just angry right now. I just sometimes I say things I don't mean when I'm angry. That's all. Twenty-four pin. Get in there. Motherboard power is we are done. At 13 minutes. Uh, okay, I'm doing front USB three point whatever. I'm at 13 minutes already. Oh crap balls! I gotta get this back on the right way. Yeah. Good call. Thank you to the astute viewer who noticed the problem there. Uh, okay, that's lined up well enough. This goes on to. This one, okay, that error is fixed. All right, now we gotta do these front panel connectors. This is gonna either make or break this run. Speed running computer builds, man. Okay, it's gonna be a whole new category on Twitch. Okay, reset is right. Oh, shoot, go on. Okay, reset's there. And then we've got power switch. And power LED is that plus. We are at 14 minutes. I've got two and a half minutes to finish this build. Okay, front panel audio. Oh my God, this board has a bent front panel audio pin out of the box. Come on, Asus, you don't let me down. It's fine, I bent it back already. Okay, and there's our front fan thing. Here's our power connectors for the graphics card. Let's pop that back into place. Here's our front fan, which I actually didn't get on the first two builds that took me like 10 times this long. Let's get the screws off here. Uh, which ones are they? This one. Okay. Time? 14 minutes and 50 seconds. 1450? Yep. Ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do 16 and a half. We're now I'm at doing 15. My best. I'm trying. Come on, get in there. Okay. Um, RTX 2080 Super, almost in. What am I still missing though? I've got to pop the front panel back on because I knocked it off. I've got to put power in for the graphics card. So here's our six pin. Okay. Here's a six plus two. Time. Uh, 15.30. 15.30. I've still got one minute remaining. Okay, wait, what actually still remains? I actually don't know, because we no longer have any uh, network cards, so. Uh, which way does it go? It goes this way, come on. Okay, that's on. 
uh, rear panel. Just a second. Am I done? Okay, rear panel. <clears throat> yeah, just get those panels on. Hold on, hold on, I'm working on it. Window panel. And... No! I hate these with all of my soul. Get on there. Time! 1614. Okay. However, that build was so fast that I'm actually not a hundred percent confident that it actually works. Um, so the big finale for the stream today is going to be finding out. <laughs> <laughs> if this was actually a successful build. Uh, 1614 though? Okay, if I pulled this off, that's pretty good. All right, I don't think we're gonna... Uh, if I had to put in a network card? I don't know, I probably could have done the network card in like 30 seconds. Okay. I don't know if I did network cards last time around though, did I? I don't think so. Okay. Keyboard. All right, I'm. Oh, my level of confidence usually when I finish building a computer is like 80 to 90 percent. Like even if I'm kind of in a hurry, I'm like pretty sure that I did everything right. This one, my level of confidence is maybe 50. Like I just feel like there's got to be some little thing I overlooked. Uh, do the lights even turn on? Lights are on, okay. I mean, that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and uh, plug the keyboard and mouse in. Oh man, I'm like, whew, 1615. You know, I thought I was way behind for a bit there. I thought I wasn't even gonna be close. I think for the most part, you were ahead. Um, All especially right. getting everything on the motherboard. That took you at least 20 minutes the last couple oh. of builds. Here we go. Uh, we're going HDMI, whatever. Wait, what the? This is a display port to HDMI cable. I, um, I cannot deal with this witchcraft right now. So I'm gonna just get a regular HDMI cable. <laughs> okay. So probably it has a built-in adapter or something. Um, okay. Where's the thing? There it is. All right. You guys ready? Let's look and see if there's anything that I obviously missed before I People turn it on. They're saying bent case. They're saying what? Bent case, but I don't see bent it. Bent case? What are you talking about? It's not bent. There's still the, um, the peel in here. Like, we can pull that off. There, see? Nothing, nothing bent. Yeah. Well, it kind of looks like it might be scratched. Oh no, it's just a little, um, it's just a little thread of some like weird plastic junk or something. Oh man, that is, wow, that's really annoying. Hello? Can you come off please? There we go. Yeah. Oh, it's still on here. They're saying the back of the bottom panel. The back? Or the, the bottom of the, the back the panel, The bottom sorry. of the back it's panel is bent? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I really don't think so. Okay, ready? I don't know if I'm ready. We're doing it anyway. Memory code 14, memory code 15. The dim's lit up. Memory code C8. It's 128 gigs of RAM in here, so it could take a second to get through that. CPU code 27, memory code, oh, we're back to memory codes, it just, it could have been memory training though. Sometimes it's normal for it to partially post and then reboot and then post again. I hope today that is what is happening. Memory code 92. Oh, okay, it was stuck on memory code 92 for a while there. I'm just, uh, I'm just looking at these codes on the um, motherboard right above the I.O. here. 
Oh. Really? Huh. I mean, that's not what I was expecting to, to get me. Wait, I just saw a VGA pop. Yes! Got it! All 128 gigs of RAM detected. Uh, SSD is picked up. F1 to run setup. OK. Whew. So we're going to go straight into uh, XMP on our memory. And let's see if this thing boots straight into Windows here. 16 minutes. How many seconds? 16 minutes, 14 seconds. 6 minutes, 14 seconds. Six, 16, 16 minutes. 16 minutes, 14 seconds. 6 minutes would be very impressive. I basically have to like throw screws into the air, stab them with the screwdriver, and like hit the exact spot that it needs to screw okay. into or you know, whatever. The plane is absolutely blowing up. Float, float plane says there is something going on with the, uh, the bottom of the case. Float plane thinks there's something going on with the bottom of the case. Oh, I see what you guys mean. Oh, I didn't do that though. That's probably Sorry, shipping chat. damage. Yeah, OK. Wow. How did I not notice that? I guess I must have been in a hurry. Do you see that? Yeah. It's like kind of bent to hell. Oh. So um, whoever your most bitch tier editor is, they get system number 10. OK, Ed? It's the bent one. Only one, that's bent? Uh, only one that's bent so far, yes. Yeah, yeah, they probably won't notice as long as they don't, you know, actually follow the channel that they applied for. And it should be okay, because otherwise they'll know. Anyways, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> hey, look at this. Straight into freaking Windows. You hear that? You hear that silence? Fan control is working. Not maybe my best cable management job ever, but I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen either. 16 minutes, 14 seconds. No, it's not wobbling. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. Okay, there, I'm just uh, gonna <clears throat> touch it up just a little. <clears throat> uh, also, this should probably go in here at some point. Got the PCI slot covers. Okay, this is not cheating though. The build was done. The panels were closed. This is just this is just creature comforts for the for whoever has to do maintenance on the machine in the future. There we go. CPU temp 34 degrees, 32 degrees. That means we don't have a bad mount on the CPU cooler. Ow. Ah. Damn you, these peels. The tab ripped off. What is the point, Asus, of a peel tab if it rips off when you try to peel the thing? I love you, Asus, but come on, guys. Killing me here. Uh, OK, uh, this was a bit of a, mm, that was a bit of an error. So I had a plastic thing over the chipset fan. Um, in my defense, that chipset fan is not even spinning because of the excellent job I did of the rest of the build and having adequate cooling and everything. <laughs> um, Memory is running at the correct speed, though, 3200 megahertz. So I think this one is pretty much ready to deploy as soon as we get our new network cards. So that's it for today. Wow, that ended up being a marathon of a stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly had fun. I should probably go and have a look at some like super chats and stuff like that before we go. Um, I don't even know why people send me super chats. I do not do I do not do a very good job of monitoring them during the stream. Okay, this is weird. It's not even coming up. Normally it's on like the viewer activity tab. I swear to you guys, this is not my fault. Um, Do you want mine on my phone? Uh, wait. Oh, it loaded. It loaded. It just took. It just took a spicy, spicy minute there. Oh man, there's so many of them. What are the odds that anyone who sent one at the beginning will even uh, still be here? So Malcolm says, I've, "A challenge I've wanted to do for years uh, is to see someone build a PC blindfolded." Yeah. Um, 
That didn't go well. That was really not the best. Michael says, your voice is like nails poking into my eyes. Uh, thank you. Sean says, 99.9% .9 of us can't afford this thing. Completely unrealistic, nonetheless pornographic. Oh, the little rubber foot on my uh, thing here just fell off. That sucks. Actually, I was thinking of switching off of this thing anyway. The lack of type A ports is driving me absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, this is more like a professional machine, though. Like, this isn't something that we would even say, like, oh, yes, this makes perfect sense to, you know, build at home for playing Fortnite or whatever. Uh, Winters says, it's freezing here in Texas. Kind of surprise. Also out of water. Yeah, that, that does tend to happen when the water freezes. Um, I don't know that that's actually the problem, but it does make the liquid water kind of go away. Michael says, I'm trying to put a PC in a toaster. Tips on layout and proper cooling. What's the best toaster to buy? I mean, what kind of question is that? How the heck am I supposed to answer, th answer that question? <laughs> go, I don't know, go post on the forum or something. Maybe they'll be able to help you. Uh, thanks, Justin Rosen. Um, Alex says, running my 1070s to mine Ethereum. There's tons of fees going to miners. Might be fixed by this summer with Ethereum blockchain update. Still using old two gig cards. Okay. Neat. Cool story. Thank you. Uh, Joshua says, have you ever made a video about running a dedicated website server? Want to run a small Django website? Uh, honestly, you're just better off going through, like, uh, just, just buy a cheap server box that's in an actual data center. It's just not worth it to try and do it out of your house. Um, I mean, unless the traffic is, like, very, very low then I guess it's probably fine. Alex says, would we ever get a tour of a crypto mining facility? I just want to see the wall of money. I mean, it's, that's one of those things that's like, it's interesting and it's tech, but I feel like our community would possibly have a very toxic reaction to that. So yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's definitely, there's cool stuff that I would like to talk about. It's just, um, there's a lot of anger from gamers directed at miners, and I, I get it, 100%. Uh, Conrad says, been following you th since the NCIX days. My wife and I just had a newborn. Nice. I'm going to have my newborn call you Papa Linus when she can talk. Ooh. I don't think this is, I don't think that's it, Chief. Papa Linus, no. Let's not, let's not go with Papa Linus. That's, mm. um. Martin Spire says, oh, this is a great question. In a time of working at home, why are you making so many workstations for the office? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Because even when our editors work from home, they still need a high-powered workstation because some computer somewhere has to be able to handle that 8K or 12K footage. So what they're doing then is they are using their, in some cases, powerful, in other cases, very lightweight computers at home they're remoting into their workstation here at the office using software called Parsec. It's like a very low latency remote desktop access software. It's actually used for gaming is how they market themselves, but it's also great for what we're using it for. So they remote into this powerful machine that grabs the footage off of our server, which is here at the office. We can't, like, we'd have to send hard drives home with people with the amount of data that they'd need for projects. They'd probably get damaged, we'd lose footage, it would suck. So everything's on our centralized server here. These access it over our local network, and then they access these machines over the internet and edit through them. So we still need powerful workstations, even if people aren't sitting at the desks in front of them. Also, some people are working in office because it's just honestly more comfortable. You've got all your like monitors, and you've got your big desk, and you don't have to be at home. Not everyone likes working from home. I personally like, vastly prefer to be in the office. Uh, Christopher Wolf. I uh, love the live show on Fridays. First time supporting you guys. Hey, thanks, Chris. Can't wait to try and get my work visa for Canada once I retire from the Army. If it gets approved, I'll apply for a position. All right, well, I look forward to it. Christopher, oh, sent another $50. Need more channel super fun. Okay, we're, we are trying. We're actually hiring for that right now. All right, Mr. Stumbler says, nice work on the speed. Thank you, Mr. Stumbler. And that's pretty much it. Thank you to our sponsors, Ridge Wallet, who you can check out down below, and MSI, who you can also check out down below. They're featuring a cooler, and Ridge Wallet is, of course, featuring the Ridge Wallet. And I am going to go finally eat my lunch. Look at my cold lunch over there, Andy. Got that cold lunch. Mmm.